boom. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and hello. So, Jim Weller here, and guess what today is? Today is Saturday, February 3rd, 2024, and this is our last show, the last show at the Milford Diner, and we are all, the whole room is sad. We have been here since last May. It has been a great location. The food has always been good. The service has always been good. And um, the napkins have always been free. And um, we are just very, very sad that we're leaving here. But uh, we have a new home, a new home. And I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Going to chit-chat with Colin here in a few minutes. Uh, we got a busy morning technologically-wise here going on today. And uh, uh, Jonathan is out, not feeling 100%. And Jonathan, if you're listening or watching or if you're sleeping, we miss you very much. You make a difference. Everybody makes a difference. And here's Linda making a difference. Yes. One picture at a time. Someday, right. someday we're going to do something with them 183,000 pictures. Ew. So I told somebody the other night about Amazon Prime will store your pictures. They did not know that. Really? Yep. Yeah. They I sure think. will. They were very glad to learn that. So, all right, Colin Walls, right, good, Wall morning, Service good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, Marva. and so we will not be here, you know, anymore. And that doesn't mean we'll never come back. But, right, correct. But, right. You know, uh, for now we're gone. We're going to be going to Sunrise Restaurant. Yeah, fortieth annual reopening big of the deal. restaurant. Big, that's big, a huge deal. Forty years. Yeah. And Robbie has purchased the restaurant. Yep. Now he's purchased the land, and he's hired us, and we want to help him. Just start with a bang. So yep. next Saturday, we need to pack <clears throat> the place yeah. downtown. It's right as you go into Dewey, coming from Rehoboth. Right. It'll Dewey be what I would the call the northbound lane. The northbound lane. Yep. Right there on the corner. You can park along that street if you need to find a place to park. Yep. And um, we need you. We want you. Yeah, so, well, we want to pack the place. So We want to uh, pack the place. Food is good. And Real fat. good. Oh. The, the number one thing that stands out when you go there is how fast from the, the time you comes. order it to the time i don't even I, i'm thinking it's less than five minutes it's almost seems like as the the wait staff is walking back to the kitchen yep. the kitchen's handing them the food yeah it's really really <laughs> after good after they take your order it's yep. fast and it's just <clears throat> good steak and eggs and yeah um the, they got lunch there i mean just yep. everything is really good i think you can order lunch for breakfast i can't remember oh you can i think the whole menu is available because they're, they're only open until two o'clock i think they're, okay they're okay. not a dinner place so uh they're there, but that place thing. is absolutely yeah. designed to move you in and out very quickly yes. because they need to in the summertime. Right. And that's the only speed That's they why know we can't stay open. there in the summer. <laughs> right. We're there till May 18th. They're like, get out of here. You're in our way. Can I switch <clears throat> gears for just a minute? Yes, you can. I want to say thank you to all the people, Snooky and everybody that has joined yeah. our radio station as an advertiser. Yep. I talked to a couple people the other day that are now thinking about it. Four hundred and eighty eight dollars. You get sixty ads. Sixty ads for four hundred and eighty eight dollars. That's less than nine dollars an ad. Yep. And it's a bargain. It is. And we're just growing day by day, week by week. And um we just want to say thank you to all the people that are advertising with us and all the people that have been thinking about it. You want a good value for your money, we've got it for you. So just and it's, give we're me not a call. pressuring you to do something now. We're not ready to do something now, but Right. This if is you, a good if you're deal. not ready now, but we'll give you all next week to make up your mind. Right. Money. You can count on us to always have a good deal. No doubt. But they may not be this good. Correct. So, Correct. So, yeah, yep. we're always going to have a good deal. They just right. might not be this good. Hey, one more thing. One more thing. Invitation I want to throw out there is this coming Wednesday. Yes. So all for the month of February. Yep, four we weeks. We are going to be at the Golden Eagle Diner on Wednesday mornings. 10, 10 to, to noon. noon. 10 to noon. Wednesdays, 10 to noon, for the Jim Weller Live Show, live from the Golden Eagle Diner in Seaford. Stop in. You can join us. Uh, maybe have a word with us. You know, yes. if we have time, we'll get you in. And uh, if you have a business, stop in and, you know, and just say, hey, I'd like to talk about my business, you know. And yes. we can either get you on the schedule or or uh, we might even be able to get you in that day. So it all we depends might. on how busy we, we are. We might. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Everybody Definitely. is invited. Yep. There's no, There's free parking. Free parking. Yeah. And uh, really good food. It really is. Really yeah. good food. Oh, the deals, I'm looking too. Oh. Those lunch specials. Oh. Here's. Oh, I got to do this quick. So okay. this was $11.99. Remember the first day we went there, $11.99. What did yeah. I get? 
you got, I don't know what it was. It looked like it had meat on it. Yeah, so it was a hamburger sub. Okay. It was a hamburger sub for eleven ninety nine. I was like, that's a pretty good deal. Right. Uh, and it came with chips or fries. I said, well, I'm going to take the fries. What's the upcharge? No upcharge. And then you get uh, dessert and salad or soup with it, too. Yeah. And, and it was all good. It was all really good. Really and let me tell you what I got. Well, <clears throat> this is at the Golden Eagle Diner in Seaford. This yeah. is uh, Colin and I went to lunch there the other day. So good morning to my 105.9 audience. But we're doing a, a, a restaurant review here yeah, real quick. Yeah. So we went to the Golden Eagle Diner the other day. In Seaford. In Seaford. Mm-hmm. And they had dumplings oh. with free refills. Okay. All you can eat dumplings. All you can eat dumplings. Was that like eleven ninety nine? Yeah, something? with a side, with a side, with the salad or soup, soup or salad bar. Yeah, soup or salad, and then a dessert. Yeah. It's Denise is squinting. It's a she's, really, she's really like, good you, value. You don't remember this correctly, is what she's thinking. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm in this restaurant. Okay, I forgot. We're in the Milford Diner. Right now, we're promoting the Milford Diner, okay? <laughs> so anyway, we just want to let right. you know that we're in the Milford Diner, and we need you to come here right now. We're going to be here till 9 o'clock this morning because this is our last show at the Milford Diner. What is that young lady's name right there? Charlotte, would you like to join me for a minute? Oh, she was just waiting for an invite. By golly. All right, so you want to bring your brother? Is he coming? All right. So anyway, we're in the Milford Diner. You're listening to and watching a show called Weller Does Del Marva. And uh, this is our final edition at the Milford Diner. Not saying we won't ever be here again, but we are usually somewhere for about six months. We've been here since May. And uh, we are, this is our last day. Charlotte, look that way. We're going to take a picture real quick. <clears throat> And um, I just wanted to say, how is Charlotte doing today? How are you? You better? I won't catch anything, will I? Okay. You were a little sick last week? Not feeling good? Yeah. Okay. How was school this week? Did you go to school? Yeah. Okay. Where do you go to school? Miss Apillion. Miss Apillion. Where is Miss Apillion? Uh, In Milford? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. All right. On the Sussex County side or the Kent County side? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. So what are you doing today? Um, I'm coming to the diner. Are you? What time are you going to be here? Uh, right now. 10. Okay. All right. What are you going to eat? Pancakes. Pancakes. Do you like them? Is that what you get every time? Okay. And what's your brother's name? Dean. Dean. Hey, Dean. All right. Anything you want to say? You got anything special coming up? Uh, I have this gift for you. A gift? Uh, no way. A pink bag? Or do I keep what's in the bag? You keep what's in the bag. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at that. Now, who made this? Me. How long did that take? Uh, about an hour. Wow. And what is it of? So, I like to do, like, paintings where I put, like, like um 3d things on oh it i see that that's pretty cool have you made any big things not really okay this is beautiful do i get to keep it mm -hmm. forever yeah well thank you very much linda why don't you take a picture of me receiving this gift this is like a one of a kind made by charlotte correct did you sign it yeah oh you did very good thank you very much mm -hmm. All right. Well, I, I'm going to give you a gift. Is that all right? Do you like Chick-fil-A? Ah, uh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Do you need a keychain? Do you have a car? No? How many people in your family? There's uh, you. My sister. Your sister. My brother. Your brother. My mom and dad. Your mom? Your dad? Is that enough? Okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. Here's your bag. Thank you. And I'm glad you're feeling better. Okay, thank you so much. This is so kind, okay? All right, see ya. All right, that was Charlotte, everybody. Look at that. I don't even know if I was holding it up the right way or not. It's quite interesting. Very, very nice. All right, thank you. That was pretty cool, Denise, wasn't it? All right, now, where are we? We're in the Milford Diner. What's going on? We're busy. 
We're busy. We have a lot going on today. I see Denny has arrived, so um, I want to let you know this is our final show. Denise, I'm ready if you want to have a seat. Let me do a couple commercial segments real quick while you're sitting here. But Top Flight Heating Air is a sponsor of the show. Uh, Ryan Brower and his team do a great job. If you need heating and air, I just talked to somebody this morning that heard about him here on the show, bought a brand new heating and air conditioning system. Did you hear about him here? Okay, just checking. Anyway, and um, just got a brand new heating and air conditioning system. And um, he's not had air conditioning before. He suffered all this time without air conditioning. So now he has heat and air. And he said it's just unbelievable. So anyway, um, they did a good job. And it was a brand new complete system. And he said they did it in like a day. So anyway, if you need a new system, if you got a system you need worked on, um, if you uh, want to join their club, 20 bucks a month, they come out once a year and service your heater and once a year and service your air conditioner, and then you're in the club. If you have any trouble, you get priority service, you get discounts on any parts, service, or repairs. So they're a great company to deal with, and it is called Top Flight Heating and Air. You can call them at 302 329 8003 or better yet just go to calltopflight.com and you can schedule your appointment right there and learn all about them right there okay um, I've told everybody starting next week until May 18th including May 18th we're going to be at the Sunrise Restaurant in Dewey Beach and we are inviting everybody to follow us we need your support we want your participation and we want you to show up and join us now Denise is here I am you am picture. and it's picture time with uh, Linda all right we had a family night the other night with Linda yeah and, and Jim yeah and Guada and Brad and we had a good time yes who won Racco oh who was it Linda yeah Linda all right so <laughs> who we came were in last it was me wasn't yeah, it I think it yeah. was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we so, like Racco. It seems like a game that everybody can play. Correct. Yeah. So we want to just say that um, we had a good time. We had dinner together. Um, what was it? Uh, Guada brought pizza. Yeah. Um, I made pulled pork. Who? Linda brought, brought pie. Oh, that's right. Linda did Apple bring pie. pie. Man, that was some good looking pie. Yeah. All right. And um, what else? It was a good time together. They yeah. all came over for dinner and we played Racco. Yeah, it was a fun night. And we planned trips. Now we're going to take a trip somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, if anybody has any suggestions, let us know. Not yeah. like a week trip. Just Here's like the thing. A, just like a little day trip. Right. Or, it has to be a trip that we don't have to take a Wednesday yeah, or, <laughs> or a, a Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> we build our lives around we Wednesdays build our lives and Saturdays. Around. All right. Now our friends have to, too. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. So what else is going on? What do you want to talk about today? We've had a busy, hectic week. Come on back here. We got to get them back here. We're trying to fill this end of the restaurant. <laughs> oh, She's looking back like, do I really want to go back there or not? Mm -hmm. So anyway. Anyway, we lost a dog this week. We did. That was awful. Yeah, he was 13 years old. It was awful, folks. It was sad. It was awful. Mm -hmm. Our dog started failing really bad. Real quick. Um, Harley didn't want to get up off the floor. And yeah. um, you took it to the vet one day. Yeah. And then the next morning, he it just, was worse. Yeah. And I do want to say I don't even want to mention my vet because I don't know that they want to provide this kind of service, but they did. But I reached out at 6.30 in the morning, and at 8.30 in the morning, they were at my house. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Yeah. So, um, but it's awful. I yeah, this so dog now for... we're trying to get our other dog <clears throat> to live in alone. Yeah. Yeah. And, and not want to be on our bed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is new. This yeah. is new. So she doesn't want to get off the bed. Uh -uh. So um, she misses her buddy. Yeah. So um, we had that dog. For 13 years, right? Yeah. And every night when I would come home, I could depend on that dog running out the driveway, no matter which driveway I came in, and greeted me. It was all over me, you know? And um, I just, I miss him. I miss him. His name is Buckley. Yeah. Buckley, Buckley, Buckley. So, uh, something else interesting has happened in our life this week. Tell me. I lost at Racco, okay? Yeah. No big deal. I like to make my guests feel happy, so I let <laughs> Linda win, okay? We let Linda Just win so you then. know. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know how you let somebody win oh, at Racco. Gosh. All right. But Best of Delaware. Oh yes. Best of Delaware. Somehow I don't know if Dan Gaffney nominated me or what happened. You may somehow, have a secret fan out there. I may. Because I'm now in the running for the Best of Delaware talk show host. Um 
and it's just amazing that that this opportunity hasn't come around. I think you so deserve to win that. It would be neat. Yeah. It would be neat. So we need your help. You just go to Best of Delaware or look my Facebook page up, and there's probably some links there. Um, but we need your vote. We need you to vote. We need you to vote for Jim Weller, okay, if you would, please. If you can't vote for me, vote for Dan Gaffney. I'm voting for Dan. I think Dan's voting for me, okay? We're going to cancel so, each other out. No, we're going to support each other. Okay. So, But I'm just saying <laughs> that if you could vote for me and don't mind, I would love to win Best of Delaware for Downstate Talk Show host, okay? Been doing this over 10 years, over 10 years Many people don't even hold a job in radio yes. for over 10. Dan Gaffney does, okay? But, I mean, when you look around, there's not much out there. So I'm just saying nothing special here, but yeah. I would love to win. Maybe I could take all of the people that vote on a cruise. We could no, all go together. Don't start that. But don't I am. Start but that. I am proud of you. Are you really? Yeah, because you love. This is a big step. You Denise love is proud your job. Of me. That's different. You know, that's different than having to do it uh, and get the paycheck. I you love absolutely doing love it. You love I talking. Do. You love greeting everybody. I love pr prosperity. I love yeah. helping people. Yes, you do. Be known. Be seen. Be heard. Be out there. So I like to see people prosper. Okay. Yeah. And you do that through advertising. So many people don't understand advertising, and I'm glad that they don't. Because so many people, when I talk about advertising, their mind goes to, I can't afford it. Right. Okay? You can't afford not to advertise. Okay? You can't afford not to. Advertising is like investing in your business, not for now. So many people want it to work immediately. I mean, think about that. If advertising worked immediately, then there would be no advertising for sale. Everybody would buy it up. It right. Does, you know, when people think like that, I'm thinking you're not thinking right. I mean, yes, we wish it would work immediately, but advertising doesn't work that way. It's about altering people's mind to never forget you. Right. And That's you really have done that well. No but you doubt. have spent a lot on advertising. I have you... bought many radio stations 30 seconds at a time. Yeah. You know, puffs of air. Right. But it is the truth. It's and like in you're print, you were in, in print. Yeah. We're in the center of the guide every week. Yeah. You know, um, that's like. Over a thousand bucks a week, right there. Yeah, you know, you've been there forever. I think. For 25, 30 years. Yeah. So. But I'm scared to give it up. It works so I good. Know, so. And you know, being my wife, we can we can be in Florida, crossing yeah. the street at Disneyland. Yeah. And somebody's hollering out the window. Hey, hey Denise. Yeah. Hey, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, um, it's amazing yeah. what has happened through advertising. In our business, we've we've done well. We've we've done well. We uh, were able to buy a radio station. We got billboards. We got properties. Life has been good. Yes, it has. We've been very fortunate. I do want to thank my vet, though. Okay, so uh, what is it called? I forgot the name All of it. All Creatures Veterinarian Services. All Creatures Veterinarian Service. Christine or Christina? I can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, she's been real good to us. So mm -hmm. thank you very much. All right, now, what else? Best of Delaware. We're going to start doing some trips with our friends. Yeah, Tilgman Island. Is anybody Tilgman Island there? is where we're going to go gonna next. We're going to take a trip there. We're going to go through Easton. We're going to find some place good to eat. Okay. And just check it out. Now, they can't go tomorrow. Oh, okay. She's already told us. All tomorrow's right, out. Well, then so. that's fine. All right. Did you see your sister has arrived? I see that. So, yes, anyway. Has. we got a busy morning here today. Okay. So, is there anything else you wanted to say? What do you think about my... You know what? I, I mean, look at that. That young it. lady has made I, I that. I got to show you this. She put so much thought. There's a little um, armadillo. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, with a little bead in its mouth. There's an armadillo. Yeah. <laughs> this, and it's 3D. That's yeah, the cool it's 3D. thing. Yeah, 3D. She's got some jewels and some feathers yeah. in there. She put thought into it. She just didn't splash paint on there. Oh, no. She no. really did. That was, that was very nice. Make sure nothing happens to that, okay? Yeah, very thoughtful. All right. So, All right. anything else? No. I think that's it. All right. Well, then I'm going to do something else. Okay. I won't say I'm going to let you go. No. I'm going to just say I'm going to switch gears. I used to hate it this when This is Denise that. Weller. Yeah, that's me. Goodbye. All right. See you. Thank you. Yep. What is that bracelet? What is that? Oh, Cindy gave that to me. Cindy gave that to yeah. her. Okay. All right. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So what's next? What's next? What's next? We're going to talk about George Luff, Luff & Associates, his son, Tyler, I'm a very happy customer, okay? So if you need an accountant, whether it's uh, for your business or you need help with your payroll, whatever you may need, if you need some accounting help, Luff & Associates is always looking for new clients, okay? They have an office in Rehoboth. They have one in Milford. They have one in Dover. 
I'm going to give you a phone number in a minute. It'll get you anywhere you need to go. So it's Luff and Associates, Luff cpas.com on the web very happy with them they have a thing called easy payroll so if you have a business you've been doing your own payroll or you've been having some other company do it and you want to deal with somebody local luff and associates can help you out phone number 302-422-9699 302-422-9699 luffcpas.com on the web like them on oh they're not on facebook I got to get George Luff on Facebook, by golly. All right. But anyway, they do a good job. If you need an accounting firm, get a hold of Luff and Associates. All right. Now, we're in the Milford Diner. You've heard me say it. This is our final show here. Uh, we hope to return someday. It has been one of the best locations we've ever been. And we are going to Dewey Beach to the Sunrise Restaurant. And we need you to come with us next Saturday next saturday and i do want to say something i have a couple sponsorship opportunities available for next saturday so if you would like to join me on the show and chat about your business for five to ten minutes i've got a deal for you you need to give me a call i'll give you all the details there is a charge it's not free okay i got plenty of people that will take the free stuff i need somebody that that wants to pay me i need to have a little value here so anyway um if you would like to join me next saturday on the show I have time, and just call me on my cell. It's 302-542-9157. 302-542-9157. You can call me or text me. I got a deal for you to be on the first show at the Sunrise Restaurant in Dewey Beach, Delaware next Saturday. I need to sell some time. Dry Zone had a big day yesterday, so I want to say this is a sponsor segment, a sponsor segment. And uh, it's, it's Dry Zone's time, okay? And uh, Dry Zone celebrated their 18th year, 18 years of being in business, doing exceptional, exceptional work. Um, we just had this vacuum cleaner system put in uh, Denise's garage and workshop. It was done by Hello Garage, which is the sister company uh, to Dry Zone. They uh, will make your garage look like new, uh, new floor coating, uh, different kind of shelving and things to, to make your garage more functional. And uh, looks better when you leave the garage door open. But they got this vacuum cleaning system where this hose pulls out 40 feet. And then when you're done, you hold your hand over the end of the hose, and it just sucks it right up into the tube. So anyway, we love it. We love it. We love it. So whether it's dry zone, whether you got a damp or leaky crawl space or your basement's leaking or whatever, uh, maybe you got some foundation repairs you need done, dry zone can do it all. They do a lot of things, and they are there for you. So just give them a call. It's 302-684-5034. 302 684 5034 dryzone.com on the web. Like them on Facebook too, Dry Zone Garage, Dry Zone, and Hello Garage. Colin, can we move the camera some if we wanted to talk to a couple people, or would you rather not today? I don't know. I'm No, if not, I'll bring them over. I'll bring them over. Pat and Snooky, you want to make your way over, one of the two of you or both of you? Okay. That's okay. I'm asking. I'm not demanding. I'm asking. All right, well, then let me talk to Hunter real quick. Hand him a microphone. All right. And then we'll talk to Pat and them. So you grab a mic for Pat and them. Going to just talk to Hunter just real quick. What was that? What did he say? Oh, all right. Can you talk to me for a minute, Hunter? Howdy. Howdy. Um, I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. Okay. You told us last week about a solar eclipse coming on like uh, April, April 8th. 8th. Yep. Is that a hoax or is that real? No, it's real. It's going to be very real. <laughs> okay. We tried to get hotel rooms at Shinkatig, and we used the password TV Del Marva, <laughs> and it didn't work anywhere. They said, we heard of TV Del Marva, but there's no password. All right. So is there anything special we need to know about this solar eclipse? Well, basically just hope for clear skies for that day and make sure to have the right... Uh, uh, with solar eclipses, you can get a can lot of damage. Yeah, you can definitely damage your eyes up. Well, All for right. here, through here on tomorrow, we won't see the full totality, but we'll see a good chunk of it okay. being eclipsed, about like 86% of it. Okay, 86%. So you, you would definitely notice a difference. It'll seem a lot more like eerily dimmer in the middle of the sky. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, anything else I need to know? Yeah. Have you started your nationwide broadcast? Yes. That How's started that last week. Of the weather. It's been interesting. It's just 
it's very strange to see that I am on TV in multiple major cities across the country. It's Isn't that kind of interesting? It's, it's a weird feeling. <laughs> well, good. Well, TV Del Marva is steady growing, so thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, didn't mean to put you on the spot, okay? Oh, no, you're fine. All right, are we going to talk to Pat and Snooky now? All right, Pat. It's not on. Oh, test, test, test. Just say test, test, test. I think it's working. Oh, I'm, I'm messing up the whole morning here, everybody. I'm switching gears. It's our last week here, and I'm just wanting to include everybody as best I can. All right, so now say test, test, test. All right, Thank test, test, test. Test, test, test. All Thank right. you, Linda. Okay, so for a anyway, Pat, that works. just real quick, Pat, okay. we just want to say thank you for coming. It's a pleasure being here. Are you going to join us at Sunrise Restaurant? Absolutely. Okay, is Snooky coming with you? Yes, he. Okay. I have to bring him. Yes. I do want to know if you could request anything for Valentine's Day. What do you want Snooky to do for you or get for you for Valentine's Day? Um, you want a foot massage? Would you oh. like a foot massage? No, I don't want a foot massage. Okay. <laughs> uh, you want him um, to wash your car or anything like that? That would be awesome if he would okay. wash. Or just take it in, to the car wash. Wash the car and clean the inside. Okay, that That's would be good. That's what I would love. All right, Snooky, can I have a word with you real quick? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for all your support. Are you coming next week? Yes. All right. I can't wait. You can't wait? You ready? It's closer to home? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're very excited. Uh, Anybody got an old license plate they want to sell? Bring them with them. Yeah. Hey, that's an idea. We need to get you on to do a segment on license plates. Ah. Uh, Bring some next week. Okay. Bring something to talk about. Bring one of them leather ones. Okay. Do you remember when license plates were leather? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if that was before your time or not. I got a copy of one. Do you really? Yeah. Bring something with you next week. Okay. All and, right. Uh, if anybody got a two-number license number they want to sell for big money, give me a call. Like uh, four or five hundred thousand dollars? Yes. Okay. How about seven hundred thousand? Golly day. Seven hundred thousand for a two-number tag. Yep. Snooky's got a buyer, or he's buying it himself. I'm not sure. That's what Pat's getting for Valentine's Day. <laughs> a two-number tag. <laughs> You're gonna notice. You're going to notice $700,000 missing from your checking account, okay? <laughs> you would notice that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, everybody will notice Everybody will notice it. All right. I'll get more people in a few minutes then, okay? Let me grab Pete real quick, Denise. Pete, we're going to have a quick word with you. With you. Right here, right there. Just tell us how's the coffee. Oh, the coffee? Yeah. Oh, the coffee's great. Okay. Anything else going on with you this week? 100 miles an hour every day, nonstop. Right. Well, good. You know, work, is, work has been extremely busy. Well, good. I'm sure they're glad they've got a hard-working guy working there. I'm trying. <laughs> I, do, I do my best. Okay. I All do right. my best. And what is his name again? Steve. Ben? Is it Ben or Steve? Steve. Okay. Hand Steve the microphone real quick, and then I'll, I won't bother nobody else. Right. Steve, how you doing? I'm doing fabulous. Thanks for coming. Are you going to join us in Dewey sometime? Ah, I think we're going to give it a go. We were just It's just down that. the road. Yeah, just a little bit down one, right? Yep. <laughs> the food is great. You're going to have a good time. All right. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Yes, sir. All right, Colin, I'm sorry to mess you up, but that's all I'll need. I won't ask for any more until I ask for the other side of the room. Folks, this is what we're doing. We're stirring the crowd. This is why people don't want to come and hang out because they are afraid I'm just going to stick them on there. Oh, I miss Steve Grossman. I forgot about it. I'll get him before it's over with. I can see his head. Just the forehead. Just the forehead. Anyway, no, I can't. I hear the music. All right. So anyway, we'll be right back. Our Delaware 105.9 audience, switch over to Weller Does Del Marva on the Facebook. Okay. To my New Jersey audience, to my 102.3 Fine Day Radio audience. Yes. Thank you. Philip, how are you doing today? Thank you. Good. Denise, see if Philip will come join me at some point. You want to come over sometime? No. Okay. No. No. Okay. All right. So we have a gift I want you to give Philip. Okay. All right. This Fine is day. One zero two three and TV Del Marva. We are on them right now. We just took a break from Delaware one zero five nine. We did. And so, what do you want to talk about this time, Jim? We're going to um, talk about Fine Day Radio. I'd like to really I, I lean to, on this advertising. All right. Well, let's finish real quick. We were we got we were in the middle of talking about where we're going. So next oh, Wednesday, Wednesdays. we yes. are going to be live. On location at Golden Eagle, Eagle. 
Diner, Diner in, in Seaford. Seaford. So Seaford, make sure you Delaware. come out and join us. That's 10 to noon, 10 to Wednesdays. Noon. Uh, that's your show, your Jim Weller yeah. live show. So it's yep. a different show. It's the same show, but different. Yeah. So if you've never yeah. joined us live, because we've done it at my office in Bridgeville, we would like to pack the restaurant, the Golden Eagle Diner, this Wednesday. This Wednesday, I think it's February 7th. And um, get you know there. what we really would even like to do with it? Even if it looks full, even if the parking's full, park around the side or around back. Oh, we've got this whole room. We're gonna, no, I meant the parking room. lot. Yeah. I just meant if you get there. Right, but what right. I'm saying is we've got this whole big room. 86 so there's gonna people. Be, yeah, there's going to be plenty of room in there. Yes. I'd love to pack it. Man, if we I could would pack too. that, it would be that something. would make a statement, wouldn't it? Yep, it would. So here's what we would like to do. We would like this to make for you to make this your weekly right. business networking Oh, opportunity. Yeah. yeah. So we Every would like Wednesday. business owners to come in, meet, greet, connect with other businesses and connect with other and your business customers, cards out. clients. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This would be a great, great opportunity for uh, your business or even you as a consumer right. to get connected to meet with people. businesses. Yeah. Right. Yep. And just, just to meet, you know, the movers and shakers. So that's what we want to make this. We want to make it a business networking opportunity mm -hmm. at the Golden Eagle Diner every Wednesday, 10 to noon, 10 yep. to noon. Um, they've got a room. It holds 80 some people. You can use that today, Philip. Okay. He can so use anyway, that room today? He can use that gift card today oh, towards okay. his bill. Okay. okay. It's worth $10. <laughs> Okay. So anyway, um, I just want to invite people. The food is great. We got plenty of room. The bathrooms are nice and clean. So we just want to say that if you would like to join us this Wednesday or any Wednesday in February, we are there. We are there. So okay. uh, yeah, I, I got guests so, lined up, but I'll try to squeeze people in. Is what well, I'm yeah, trying and, to do. Yeah, and it's not just about everything that goes out over the air too. So it is going to be on TV Delmarva and Fine Day Radio and, and YouTube, YouTube and Facebook. So everywhere. Yeah, there's going to be lots, but but we want the room also to you know to to be kind of its own thing too. Right. So everybody in the room, if you have an organization, but you know, bring business cards if you own a business, yep. so you can hand them. Good out. idea. Uh huh. It is a good idea. Good so. idea. Maybe we, and, uh, maybe we can get somebody to put a care package together every week you know bring yeah. bring something mm -hmm. just one more thing linda price can do <laughs> oh i was going to have linda bosco see if she wanted to do it yeah <laughs> okay she needs something else to do yeah that's what she's thinking <laughs> please no eye contact but, with me but anyway so yeah and and we're also going to have special advertising opportunities that you only be able to get if you're there so we're yes. going to come up with a package oh, or something oh. that we're going to hand yes, you we are that you can that's the yes. only time you'll be able to That's get it. That's the only time you you'll be able to get there, it. Right. And it's going to be a fantastic deal. We're so just making this up on the spot right now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> mark your That's why I look surprised. Anyway, mark your calendars. <clears throat> set a reminder. Next Wednesday, February 7th, the Golden Eagle Diner, Seaford, Delaware. We want to pack the place. All right? So we want at least oh. 86. What? There's oh, more? Well, we better have a, or, or a, board, a board meeting with our board to discuss if they want to do this. You want to do this? Yeah. I do. Yeah, all right, yeah, we're yeah. going to do it then. All right, oh, board meeting's guys. over. Adjourn. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> what do you think of this best of Delaware thing? I can't Is it even not hilarious? It. Well, I don't think it's hilarious. It's legit, and I think you, you know, you're definitely a great candidate to be in the running. I mean, you're wow. on two radio stations. You're on TV. You're on. I noticed they didn't put TV on there, but but right. it's a it was for radio personality. Don't you wonder who so. did it? Yeah, I wonder who did it. Out, yeah, you know? yeah. Yep. I think it was Dan. I think his initials were J.W. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I was yourself. surprised. I was like, <laughs> no. No, but anyway. we don't even know who did it. Right. right. We don't even know who did it. You so. thought Jackie might have done it. You were like, right, Jackie. Right, but she did not do like, it. She's like, I did not do it. Right. Yeah. Like, so. I do not like you that much, Jim. Right. So, anyway. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, what else is going on? Anything? So, Wednesdays, we got yeah. the show. We got advertising available. We're getting a lot of hits on things. We are. People are happy. We're connecting. <laughs> that, that and show, it's neat. You know, the the funny thing is with stuff like this, you know, it just goes and goes and goes. And sometimes you're like, is anybody listening? Is anybody watching? Right. And then all of a sudden we get emails. We get messages. Right. We get, you know, all this stuff. And, and people are watching it not only from southern delaware you know coastal delaware and south jersey but we've got people that are listening wasn't there somebody from california or am i dreaming uh, definitely somebody from washington dc oh yes um you know i yeah. think there was somebody from california i thought there yeah. was yeah so you know and and one person in washington dc or whatever is not you know a huge number but it's 
it's just right, but the guy in New Jersey who's got 25 far. of his buddies watching. We need to That's get right. him on. Yeah, and all 25 of them. Right. We need 25 microphones. Where could we get 25 microphones from? Right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think about that. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so what else is going on? I'm, I'm happy about the best of Delaware. Yeah. So what, um, let's, let's hit that real quick. So you go to, uh, what's the website? Best of Delaware? Best of Delaware, I Search guess. Search for Best of Delaware, Jim Best Weller. of Delaware. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. there you go. We need to create a face. We need to get our own website. Best of Delaware, Jim Weller.com. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Weller, Best of Delaware. Oh, man. All right. Are we done on the radio? We're, yep. We're done there. No, we're not. So we're coming back on the radio. We're coming back on Delaware yes. 105.9. So we want to say thank you to everybody. It's been a busy morning. Everything okay? All right. Just checking. All right. So what is our next guest is Jimmy. We got Jimmy or no Jimmy? So this is Jimmy over at Weller's in Bridgeville. Jimmy, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? And see I me? can hear you. I can't see you. Can you see me? I can imagine you, but I can't see you. Okay, hold on. I don't know if we can see you. Keep going. Okay, so everything's good. So what are we talking about today? Concession trailers. Oh, Not the vendor the trailer. Highway. Okay. We've got a bright orange one. Wow. We've been special ordering a lot of these. Yes, you've been on fire as far as ordering trailers. It's been a lot of fun. It has been. People come in, they tell us what they're using it for, and then we discuss different options together. Right. We spend time, so one, we give them input. This one has the concession door, but it also has the concession window. So you can actually open up different sections. Oh, it's got like glass and screens. Yep. Keep so the flies a hot out. Day and you're waiting for people, you can close it so you're not letting your air condition out. Oh, okay. And then when they walk up, lift it up. It also has the shelf. I so you see can put that. A tip jar here, some yep. napkins. Okay. Wow, what is that? It is lockable, has dead bolts. Okay, is that seven foot wide? This one's eight and a half. Eight and a half, that's a big one. Yep, I'm working on a special order for a customer now that's doing the same size. Okay. And they were actually able to get a lot of ideas from this trailer. There you go. And um, if you is follow it... me to the inside, okay. I want to show you another popular option is this cabinet. Oh, yeah. You can set you can your stuff there. You can put a register there. here, a laptop. Yep. You can put Store all your stuff. different you know, items in there, napkins. And hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, on yes. that door, open that up again. Is that cabinet aluminum on the inside? Aluminum? Yeah. Wow. You your colors. That, has it got a rubber floor in it, too? has a rubber floor. Wow. Inside the cabinet also. Wow. That a nice looking trailer. Yeah, they're hmm. wired and braced for an air conditioner. All so ready. Take for out it. the roof vent. You put an air conditioner on the top. The wires are right inside. We can get them insulated in the walls and the ceiling. Okay. You can change the color of the trim. It's extremely customizable. I would say so. And that one's got some extra height to it. It looks like. This one does have extra height. I'm going to say it's about seven foot tall. Okay. Wow, it's got There's some tie downs. Do. It's got receptacles. That thing's all wired and ready to go, isn't it? The exterior also has receptacles. Okay. GFIs. Okay. And wow. we can also finance these. Okay. Is that like maybe 25 grand, that trailer? This one, I don't think, it, I think it's only about 17. No, you're thinking. However, if you want to do 25, we'll take the rest as a tip. There you go, and put it in the tip jar. Yeah, right on the counter. <laughs> right on the counter. Man, yeah. that would be a good day, wouldn't it? That would be a great day. I think we'd go out to lunch that day. Yeah. So tell me this. How do people get a hold of Jimmy Weller? My cell phone is pretty much always on me. Okay. 302-841-1828. Or the store. 302-841-1828. Dial it in that exact order? Yep, not backwards. Okay. All right. And what's your and email? the store's here Tuesday through Saturday. Email jimmy at wellers.com. Okay. What kind of time frame? Three months to get a trailer? Three months would cover it. Okay. Uh, I'm telling people if you order now, you might be two months, but if you wait another month or two, it might be three months. Okay. Because as the season comes along, it gets busier. 
Yep. All right. Anything else you want to tell us? Are you, are you working today? Working today. I got a few trailers on hold that are supposed to be going out. But if you don't have one on hold, come on in and I'm going to take care of you just the same. Okay. You're ready for them. I'm ready. Okay. Got up nice and early. Got an ice bath. Went for a jog. Hold on. Let's talk about the ice bath. The ice bath. Okay. What, what is Christmas an, gift my wife got me? What is an ice bath? Uh, so it's something exercise enthusiasts do. It gets blood circulation. It keeps you energized. I believe it tightens your skin because sometimes people get loose skin when they gain and lose weight, such as I do. I have never got loose skin when I gained weight. Yeah, well, that's, I guess, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's when I lose weight. So you get in a tub of water. How cold is this water? Uh, it depends on the outside. It sits on the deck. So on a day like today, it wasn't frozen. Uh, it might have been 40 degrees, but uh, back when we got the snow, I had to you know, kind of break it apart to be able to get into it. It was frozen solid. And how long do you stay in there? When it's icy, I'm good for about a minute, minute and a half. Okay. Uh, if it's like 40, 50 degrees, I'm sometimes in there five minutes. She had to come check on me the other day. I was out there, and she peeked her head out. and Like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, this one feels good. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going to say thank you, and uh, you're ready for business, and we'll go from there. Yep, and congrats on your uh, nomination. You think I'm going to win? I think you have a strong chance. A strong chance. We'll spread the word. Okay. All right. When and where is voting? Uh, just go to Best of Delaware online if you can, and it's somewhere there. You look up for, right. you look up the uh, best talk show host in Lower Delaware or something like that. Or Sounds they can good. go to my Facebook page, and or they could go to my Facebook page, and um, you know they can um, look at there. They'll need microphones, Denise. Okay. All right. So anyway, I'm going to do a real quick commercial segment. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Bye. All right. I'll be there cleaning and care. This is our cleaning, cleaning person. So if you need your house cleaned, if you want your offices cleaned, whatever you may need done, this is a sponsor segment. Her name is Dawn Kennedy. They named a detergent after her. Dawn. Okay. And I, I think they even named a song after her. So it's Dawn Kennedy. I'll be there cleaning and care. Very prompt, very detail oriented. I've had people say, how did she put everything back in my refrigerator exactly where it was? Because she has a camera, everybody. Okay? She's not magic. So anyway, I'm just letting you know that if you want your refrigerator clean, your stove, your house, your office, she does the inside of campers, motorhomes, not the outside, but the inside. Her name is Dawn Kennedy. How do you call her? It's 302 362 now I got to look the number up. 7064 302 362 7064. You must dial it in that order. 302 362 7064. Discounts for first responders, military, and seniors. I'm a senior. Okay. So give her a call. Dawn Kennedy, tell her I sent you. She'll do a good job. Now we have a table full up here today. It's picture time, Linda. Take our picture real quick. All right. Steve McCarran said, I'm going to bring some people. Okay. Good morning. So, Jim. good morning. Talk into that as best you can. There we go. Tell us who in the world you got, and you can start the timer. Okay. Gotcha. All yeah, right. It's good to be here this morning, Jim. And uh, well, I'm Steve McCarran from Amp Electric. Amp Electric. This morning, I brought my sister, Liz okay. Reagan and Chris okay. Steele. How you doing? And, um, good. They're both from Northrop Realty. North. Say it again. North. North Northrop. Northrop. That's what I've done. Right. Isn't that like an airplane company? <laughs> That's what uh, we're just an, going over. With an O instead of a U. Oh, okay. I was close. All right. <laughs> Northrop. So um, my sister just got a real estate license okay. in October. All right. And she's got some stuff going on right now, and, and I love coming on this show. Okay. And where else can you get exposure like you can give it? So I wanted to bring no her worries. on here, and uh, I thought it, you know, All right. good. So. All right. Well, take it away. Okay. So... so like he said, I'm Liz Reagan from Northrop Realty. Okay. Um, just newly licensed, but I'm not new to the real estate market. I've okay. been an appraiser for 20 years. Oh, wow. And so I'm taking a lot of that experience into the real estate market. I would think that would be valuable. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a while, but now, you know, my son is older. Life is just a little bit easier. I have that time to invest mm -hmm. into it. Because when you're a realtor, you're allowed to work all the hours you want. 
<laughs> a lot of hours. Right? Yes. Right. <laughs> because your customers may want you at different times. Uh, yes. Yeah, so it's, it's not nine to five anymore. No, no more. Even last night, I was you know answering calls through through the evening, but it was okay. cool. I mean, I I knew what I was signing up for, and I've really okay. enjoyed it. All right. You got so an open house coming up. Yes, yeah, so uh, one of the great things that Northrop does is we do a lot of open houses for a lot of exposure. So um, I had an open house Saturday and Sunday last week, and then today I'm going to be in Selbyville at an open house. What's the address? Selbyville. Go to Selbyville. Selbyville. You'll find it. <laughs> do you have okay. a Facebook page? Uh, yeah. Or do you Facebook? have a phone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so so right. my phone number is 302 Yep. 632 5312. Oh, say that again. 302 362. Uh, 632. 632. 302 632 5312. 5312. Is that yes, right? That's correct. All right. And my Facebook is Liz Reagan of Northrop Realty. How do you spell Liz? L I Z. L I Z. R E A G A N. R E A G A N like her on Facebook. All right. Absolutely. Yes. So, and and then I'll have the details on there for where I'm going to be today. It's an okay. absolutely gorgeous waterfront property. Is it really? I'm going to be enjoying my views for the afternoon. All right. Is there any food, snacks, anything? candy, candy? <laughs> okay. We're going to sugar you up. Get the you one thing I up. like is, is in today's world, everything is so internet based. You find something, can you even go look at it? It's tough to get somebody in there. Right. Um, when they do these open houses, I mean, you can really go in there, spend your time, get the feel of the house. Mm -hmm. um, Touch where it. else? I, you do real estate transactions. When's the last time you really get to spend a half an hour and something looking at it? Mm -hmm. um, everything is so quick anymore. So that's a tremendous opportunity if you're interested. I, I can relate to quick. I'm used to riding by an auction of a piece of property and stopping and calling Denise and saying, guess what we just bought? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm impulse. But anyway, okay. And uh, who is this again? My name is Chrissy Steele, and I am the regional manager for Northrop Realty. I could tell she was of an authoritative. <laughs> no, 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 she not is like a that at all. Powerhouse. No. Powerhouse. Okay, well, good. I'm here and, to encourage and support Liz today. Okay, and uh, are you in a local office, or are you all over I the am, place? I am. Yes. Yeah, so I oversee our five offices east of the Bay Bridge. Oh And my. I do keep an office in Bethany Beach. Liz works in our Lewis office. Um, so yeah, I travel back and forth through our offices quite we a bit. We have a gift. For you, while you're here. I love gifts. <laughs> I oh, love, yeah. love oh, gifts. Yeah. We cannot talk about this right now okay. on, on here because we're on two radio stations and one of them would get uptight. So just take that with you and we'll talk another time, okay? I will All take right. this gift. Thank All you. All right. But anyway, um, so real estate seems to be very strong in Lower Delaware. Just It just is trucking right on. In other words, people are moving here. People are building houses. Um, what would you say would be a little different? with you all than maybe some others as far as the Northrop Realty yeah like uh, like if somebody said well why should I call you so I personally I think we just have a really dynamic marketing team okay we have a professional stager that comes in whether oh, your that home makes is, a difference yes if it's, if it's occupied they'll work with the owner to really help make sure it's presented in the best light that is a great thing yes nothing uh, worse than looking at a vacant house when it could look a little lived in yes and okay. uh if it's if it's vacant so we also have a professional photographer that comes takes really great pictures because you do critical, not want too. me taking a picture right <laughs> and so they're very professional um within that you can do professional staging so this is a house for example one of my listings in seaford it's vacant but there if you go. if you look where at where did the, this brochure come from so and i was going to say that's one that of our is that is first class. Yes. And so, um, do you that do has... that on many listings? Every single uh, listing. You don't Let see, see that, that anymore. Yeah. You don't I've see never that seen anymore. that. Yeah. So that has Holy beautiful, mackerel. beautiful photos. It has a description. It has the floor plan on the back. Another Did the staging company put the snow down for the picture. <laughs> <laughs> that was nature. That was a good one. <laughs> is it? That's something got a little uh, what is that a little pond out back a Boy fish pond, pond with a fish pond yes where's this house at Seaford Seaford that's on rabbit run in Seaford it's three acres it has a 30 by 40 pole barn no kidding so like you could have race cars in there or something at, like that yes. I'd encourage you the racing could. community to come look <laughs> a race car would look good in there wow this is this is really nice yes and here's another one this just, is really just, nice folks I'm taking with this, okay? <laughs> and I'm not getting any ink on my fingers either. 
That's so right. this is pretty good. One thing right. that, that's always got me is when you look at the what realtors do, you see them at, um, if they show you a house, and then also at closing, but uh, I think there's a lot of back office stuff that a lot of, you know, most people aren't aware of. And, um, so what do you guys do behind the scenes? I would say that uh, the rest of us aren't seeing, because, you know, I see, I see a real estate agent when I buy the house, and, and then a little bit later at closing, talk to him a few times on the phone. Well, I'm but sure, I'm sure there's a lot of work involved. In I'm, I'm sure you help get them connected with a lender. Uh, yes, so we um, we have a preferred lender or a partner lender, and okay. then we also can recommend other lenders that we work with. Um, and How about then, an inspector? If I said, look, I need a surveyor, I need an inspector. Absolutely. So I we might have, even need a pest control inspection. <laughs> we have we have people that we know and can reach out to for the inspection, for if you need repairs to your home, basically oh, the okay. entire process. And so not only ourselves as the realtor, but Northrop also has a client care coordinator. So there are many people keeping you on track, making sure your deadlines are met. There's um, a whole group of people. There is behind. a whole group of people supporting. Right. So not just because you're Steve's sister. In other words, um, there's other reasons to deal with you. Absolutely, yes, okay. yes. <laughs> All right. And that, that sounds like a lot of support during a stressful time. It does. Yes. Yeah. So it makes the process. It does, yeah. You know, buying and selling a home, it's often the, um, it's often the largest investment people make in their it's, lives. It's overwhelming. It's highly emotional. You know, it's not something that you do every day. It's something that we do every day. True. And so because we do it every day, just like Liz said, we have all the partnerships already lined up. From the time you, whether you're selling, you sign a listing agreement straight through to closing, or you're buying, you sign a buyer agency agreement straight through to closing every single step of the way we keep buyers and sellers on track um and you know we focus on the details so that you don't have to right. so that we take that stress that emotion out of it for you so you enjoy it i love this in yes words, but i mean even the client in other words you know so it makes it a fun not a stressful oh, yes. you know i've met people and they're like yeah my realtor let me down they weren't there when i needed them it sounds like you're saying every step of the way yeah you and, intend to be there. and we also so i see this from the appraiser side most of the time i show up to a house and either it's just the owner or nobody and so i don't have the details for example you know what what remodeling has been done you know different Before. factors so we actually meet the appraisers at the house if we have some great sales, we might say these are some things that we looked at while right. establishing a listing price, and then these are all the upgrades and really important facts. I can see that being a big thing, and plus, Absolutely. you also know what questions to ask the homeowner before the appraiser even gets there. Absolutely. In other words, so you know, speed say, and ease. I'd say if you're shopping for uh, uh, somebody to represent you or to buy a house, you need to see if they're supplying all these um, things. Correct. All these resources. Right. Yeah. Right. So that that's yeah. a lot. And I haven't been through it too many times, but that's a lot. Yeah, I could see where it would make a difference because it is most people's largest purchase, and um, it's very stressful. They're signing up for a 30-year commitment usually, and it's a big deal, you know. And you've got the husband thinking one thing, the wife thinking another, and um, one of the two of them sometimes right. So anyway, um, it's just a good thing to have somebody that's got your back, I guess is the way to say it. All right, how do people reach you? So uh, my number was the 302-632-5312. Okay. I have an email, Liz Reagan at NorthropRealty.com. Okay. That's N-O-R-T-H-R-O-P Realty.com. Dot com. .com. Is that on the World Wide Web or just the Bridgeville Web? <laughs> the World Wide Web. Oh, it's on the World Wide Web. Okay. <laughs> the the Seaford web. web. The Dunmore Web. All right, and um, are you on Facebook? Yes, the okay. Liz Liz Reagan of Northrop Realty. Okay, at Facebook. All right. Yes. Now, when is the latest you want somebody to call you or text you? Um, have you ever been asked that before? I have never been asked that before. Okay, well, what time do you go to sleep? In other uh, words, when people text me at 2 in the morning, they are shocked. Oh, yeah, that I'm, I immediately respond. I am not okay. up at two in the morning. Okay. I would say well, I'm not up. I just always answer. <laughs> I would say sometime, you know, between between ten and six, I'm usually sleeping. Okay. Uh, All right. But other than that, I am available, and you can always shoot a text or always shoot an email, and, and then as soon as I see it, I will reach out and get back. Okay. And so, if somebody sees a house listed with another realtor, are you interested in being involved in that? 
So if it's listed with another realtor, they are the listing agent, but I can represent the buyer as the buyer's agent. So, so if somebody sees a house anywhere, can they yes, call you? Absolutely. Call me. I can give you details and information. We can set up a time to meet at the property and do a tour. Okay. I encourage them to. Yeah, What's absolutely. your area? Um, all of Kent and Sussex County, but, okay. but primarily, I would say mostly Magnolia South okay. and then... Um, kind of the mill over to the beach over to over to the beaches to the water all the way to the water uh, probably 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 west of route one is where okay. i'm most comfortable but right. i can, I can maybe, maybe somebody, even in the water i mean we do, water, sell, we do sell we do sell boat docks too. So, okay. so oh, okay. I, and you know that's my appraiser just, mind that's my appraiser mind speaking of like okay, okay this is where i've done a lot of work but really well, i can anywhere let's anywhere. just say yes. call you and you'll anywhere. sift it out how's yes. that yes <laughs> number one more time 302 632 five three one two all right anything else that you wanted to say no sir thank you thank you for having us on today how was this interview it was good was it everything you thought it would be it was amazing i was really nervous to tell you the truth but um, nervous <laughs> i'm the but one I, that's nervous <laughs> but this has been wonderful i really thank you very much i have much. to take all these total strangers and extract information out of them. <laughs> in other words and then, and then try to sell them something <laughs> all right well i'm happy for you i do have one quick question what kind of a brother was steve oh uh <laughs> that a whole nother show I don't that's know. a whole yeah, nother yeah, show yeah, yeah. uh but well, you know what? another segment for that we are really close <laughs> he was amazing he made me tough um okay. but we were really close growing up that's and i'm just made her tough him. that's a polite okay. way of putting it <laughs> <laughs> he looked out for you <laughs> yes absolutely he yeah. made you survivable yeah. <laughs> i can survive prepared a lot for the real right. world. and that's the truth you want to be prepared yes. yes all right anything else no? No, I think we're good. Okay. Well, then get up with me sometime. I got more ideas for you. Thanks. All right. Hey, see y'all. Thanks Jim. a lot. Thanks Take care. Much. See ya. All right. We are here. That was a very good segment, and um, I love talking real estate. All right. What else is going on? We had Jimmy on. Let's talk about my chiropractor real quick. Everybody likes a good chiropractic adjustment. Ooh, I do. Get the kinks out. So if you need a chiropractor... It is. Dr. T and Dr. Bud. Hey, give one of them to Steve real quick, Denise. Dr. T and Dr. Bud, Peninsula Chiropractic Center. I just want to let you know if you need a chiropractor, they know what they're doing. They accept most insurances, um, and uh, they'll do you a good job. So uh, it's PeninsulaChiropracticCenter.com, 302-629-4344, 4 PeninsulaChiropractic.com on the web. Like them on Facebook. Now we're going to just talk real quick to, what's his name? Steve Grossman. This Thanks. is the, the one, the only, thank Steve God. Grossman. Steve, are you there? I'm here. How are you today? We want to say thank you to you. You almost have a perfect attendance with us. I almost. If and I'm in town, do, I'm usually here. You do always brighten the room when you walk in. He offers to pay people, buy people's breakfast, and then he says... I left my wallet. I home. left my wallet. Yeah. Yeah. The old, the old, the old uh, John Brady move. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yes. yes. All right. So uh, you got to come down to Sunrise Restaurant and hang yeah, out with us. Yeah, you're back in my neighborhood. There so, we yeah, go. That makes it easy for me. So yep. it's nice that it's not a one and done. So. And if anybody know. thinks it's too far to come, we can set you up with an Airbnb at Steve and Lisa's house. There you you go. can just spend the night and be there in the morning if need there be. There you go. All right. So thank you very much. Anything thank I need you. to know about anything? No, but I'm, you got me before I'm leaving. I'm getting ready to go. Um, okay. I've got a rotary meeting in Dover today. Um, All right. So I'm, I'm getting ready to boogie out of here. So. All right. Well, boogie, boogie. Tell Lisa boogie. we missed her. I will. I woke All her right. up and she said no. So No. All right. Final offer was no, right? That's right. All right. See you, Steve. Thank uh, you. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, everybody. So we're in the Milford Diner, and here is Sam and Sandy. So lots of people coming and going, and I just want to say good morning to everybody. So this is where we're at. We want you to vote for Jim Weller on the best of Delaware. It is a little bit of a interesting thing that I'm there, but I have been nominated as one of the best talk show hosts in Lower Delaware, and of course, as Colin said, we're on two radio stations, we're on TV, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, so probably have a lot of an audience that some people don't have, and we are just thankful, so I don't know who nominated me, it could have been somebody from another radio station for all I know, but if it was, we say thank you, but vote for me, 
and tell your friends vote for Jim Weller on Best of Del Marva if you would please okay all right I'm taking a break from Delaware 105.9 for that audience switch over to Weller does Del Marva on the Facebook I don't want you to miss anything all right now for our TV audience our radio audience our Facebook audience our YouTube audience good morning good morning Good morning. We are here. We're still here for you. Yes. We never will let you down. And it is the best of Delaware, not the best of Del Marva. Okay. The so best you're, of... next year you'll be going for the best of Del Marva. <laughs> yeah. So best of Delaware. Go vote for Jim Merle. Now we want to say that this is what they're calling the elimination round. So it's there will critical. be another round of voting for Jim if he makes it through. So okay. You got to get him through to the next round, and then you got to. You're going to hear all this again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we're not. I, I was going to give everybody something for voting, but we're not allowed to. No. We're not allowed to give you something for voting. We were nope. going to buy a lot of pizzas and give everybody one slice of pizza for voting, but we're not going to do that. Okay. going to mail it to you. <laughs> mail, <laughs> mail a slice Freeze of pizza. Freeze dry it, right? <laughs> Vacuum no, you cannot, sealed. <laughs> that is against the rules. I know it's... I know uh, it's it's the out of character. against your better judgment to not right. do that. But, right. You know, so, but you have to. So. But... All right, so vote for me. Now, TV Delmarva yeah. is always looking for some more customers, and we are. so is uh, Fine Day Radio. So we got some packages, packages. Mm -hmm. And then we got this Wednesday show where we're going to create a whole nother package. Right. So we're going to keep ourselves busy creating things. Yes. All right. Uh, that group that was just on was a good candidate for that right there. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yep, I would that, agree with and, that. Um, you know, and, and, and for the Wednesday show, let's, oh, yeah. let's highlight these houses and these. That's a good yeah. idea. So, we need to remind them. To, we need something to hand out to people about Wednesdays now. We do, yeah. Yep. My goodness. So and, and what we've what we've said is that we're going to if you come to our Wednesday show, which will be yes. uh, live Wednesdays at the Golden Eagle Diner in Seaford, Delaware, all for right. the month of February, and uh, let's make a good impression and see if he might want to just keep us there. Correct. So right. uh, we need a lot like of people to, to come out. Yeah, we'd like to stay. Well, we like being out yeah. in the, and we want to create this as a networking opportunity. Yep. For businesses, organizations, uh, and even you know for. Uh, uh, just regular Everybody. consumers that might want to come out and meet Say, business owners. Who would I get to do my roof or who would I do with air conditioning right. or yep. whatever? So, yeah, yeah so it's, we should join a be, club, not join a club. We should create, create a club. Well, that's what we're trying to do. And you pay $20 a month oh. and you can come and be part of it. What, you were thinking more than $20? No, I was thinking let's not charge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> let's not charge oh, to be a part the of the club. Oh, I meant for the businesses. I meant the businesses. Gotcha. We would start a business networking club is what we would do. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to do another thing. I'm getting so How old much paperwork do you want to do for $20? Right, none. Zero. <laughs> exactly. I, don't even, I don't even want to run your credit card. <laughs> so, anyway, I would accept your cash. Yeah. All right. So, Colin, how are you other than that? I'm doing good. So, you know, and big things are busy at Fine Day Radio and they TV are. Del Marva. You know, we've got a lot going on with TV Del Marva. We are now <gasps> the official uh, weather partner or weather. We don't even know what we're calling it, but it's we we do the weather for national weather for Biz Network, Biz TV Network. It's a national uh, network. We're on in over, I don't know how many cities, but all the major markets right. uh, across the U.S. So six times a day. So six times a day, we're running this weather Everywhere. on Biz TV. So, and, and I think they cover over six, 76 million people. You need to get population. an advertiser that needs that kind of an well, audience. Yeah, and that's where I'm going with this. So okay. if you've got a business that um, could use some national exposure, you're going to get a deal that you'll never get anywhere else right. for this kind of exposure. exposure. Yeah, so we just want to get somebody on there, and, and we'd like for somebody to be long-term with us. Yes. Um, but we're going to give you a really, really good deal for this. So uh, get in contact with me directly, 302-242-8015, 302-242-8015. You're going to get a 30-second ad okay. that's going to run with the weather on Biz this TV. This is a TV ad. Yeah, TV ad on Biz TV Network. Um, this, this, they're, they're in all the major cities, you know, they're in, uh, Dallas and LA and Miami and all the, all the major markets across the country. And so your ad is going to be very effective and you're going to reach a lot of people and uh, you're going to get it at a minimal price. I would really like to see that my Bambino try it. And yeah. then get them to come on and say, oh yeah, we're absolutely overwhelmed now. Yeah. In other words, you know, just, it would just be kind of neat 
for somebody to, um, you know, to um, buy the ad and, yeah. and then come back and report how in the world did yeah, it Yeah, tell us what the results are. Yeah, that, that would be good. So, but anyway, so give me a call or email me. So call me directly, 302-242-8015. I'll even take a text at that number. Okay. Um, or you can email me, Colin, C-O-L-I-N, Colin, at tvdelmarva.com. Colin, C-O-L-I-N, at tvdelmarva.com. TV okay. And, uh, yeah, let's let's get your business on there. Let's, get let's some, do it. Uh, get you some results. Yep, let's do it. All right. All right. Anything else we over. need to what know? What is our next segment, Jim? Oh, you mean the uh, this? Do we want to talk about this? Uh, I don't know if we should. Okay. He's holding up the band. All right. Well, let's not then. Okay. All we right. just want to let you know yes. if uh, you ever want to advertise on TV Del Marva or Fine Day Radio, we would love to talk to you. Give Jim a okay? call directly. Give me a call on the hotline. Hey, Chad. That was a good catch, Chad. I saw you catch that item before it hit the floor. It was very good. So we are going to talk now about the new... Food Bank of Delaware, Milford location. It's picture time, first of all. Okay. Chad, how you doing? I'm doing great, Jim. How are you? Good. You have been busy the past few weeks. Oh, my gosh. We've been so busy. But it's been a great couple weeks, really. The new building is open. It is. It is open now every day, uh, Monday through Friday. Um, people have found us. Um, it, is, it is more than we ever imagined, and wow. we just couldn't be happier. Good. How big is the new building? 67,000 square feet. 67,000 square 67, feet. That's a big 000. building. It is. It is. Uh, it, I, if I hadn't been there every week during construction, I would probably need a wayfaring system to help me around. Oh, wow. But, uh, but it is all good. Um, the warehouse is nice and full. Uh, we were so blessed on the day of our ribbon cutting. Uh, Purdue gave us a donation of 87,000 pounds of chicken. Um, just, just that's a lot of tractor trailers. That's and chicken. A, that is two tractor trailer loads of chicken, um, but dang. filled up the, the freezer and just allowed us to get started. And it, it, it's been amazing. It really has. Wow. Had a lot of people turn out. I saw a good ribbon cutting. It was really, yeah. we had about 500 of our closest friends it was out really there. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it really yeah. was. It really was. Wow. Um, how but, many people work in there in a day? How many people are like are in the building? Sure. So we've got um, we've got a staff of probably about thirty now. Okay. Um, but uh, our volunteers are coming in every day. We have new volunteer opportunities now uh, okay. because uh, t traditionally we would have just the the volunteer room, which is where we you know sort through donations, pack mailboxes, all that kind of stuff. But now we've got our healthy pantry center as well, where folks are coming in and shopping um, okay. in a mini grocery store for the okay. items that they need for themselves. Okay. Okay. and their families so volunteers are helping them um, and then volunteers are also um, helping to stock the shelves and everything in there so brand new volunteer opportunities there um, so probably on any given day we've got another between the morning and the afternoon we probably got another 50 or 60 folks in um, wow. that are just volunteering for us as well and that's Very not nice. counting our culinary students and our logic that's students right. so there's 100 people on the property easy every day gosh yep. what a great thing in other words yeah. You know, it's just constantly growing. The need is is probably larger than ever. Jim, you're exactly right, actually. Um, we are actually serving more folks today than we were during the height of the pandemic. Uh, so wow. the need is so great um, in our community. We want to make sure that we're there uh, for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's certainly our... Um, our distribution channels like the Healthy Pantry Center mm -hmm. on site, but it's also uh, the mobile pantry so that the trucks that you see over there at the docks, they're going out every day um, into various communities around That's the right. state. Yep. I, I was connected to a church that had a um, food pantry and the truck would come and bring stuff and then they would sort it out and, yep. and then people would come to that food pantry. That's so. right. That's uh, right. This is a it's statewide, isn't it? It is. Yep. We are we're from you know Claymont to Delmar, uh, wow. and, and and try to be in every community as much as we can um, to to make sure that that we're there. But also, as you said, to count on those local partners too yeah. that are that church, that faith community, that community center that's in that town mm -hmm. that they know their community better than we do. Right. right. And, I don't and, know what's going on in Bridgeville. Right, I know Jim and, Weller does though. Right. You know. Yeah. Um, so the closer we can get to those people that they know their communities um, and that we can put that pantry there the better we are good job yep. how long have you been involved almost 12 years really yeah now what drew you to the food pantry 
So um, the food bank, I guess, you know, thank like, you. What drew yeah. you there? So um, I was working in government and uh, and it was great. You know, I loved it. Uh, but every year was kind of the same series of events, you know, okay. the, maybe different names, different but... names, different things. But um, but generally it was the kind of the same thing. And so I said, um, maybe it's time to to look for something different. Opened up the newspaper um, one day, saw an ad for the food bank and thought, hmm, that could be something that really? I could get into. And the more I thought about it, I realized that, you know, we're I'm a, as a person of faith, I think we're called on to, um, you know, do unto others as we wish they should do unto us and um, feed the hungry. Mm-hmm. And I thought, OK, this is a this good is thing. good. And wow. uh, and it all worked out. And I'm so happy. I have the best job in the world. Um, you know, every day I get to, you know, lay my head on the pillow at night and know something I did that day helped somebody. Right. Um, that day. That day. Something you did today helped somebody today. Exactly. That's you know, yeah. That's a great way to put it. Today. Yeah. Yes. Um, and so. Um, but I also get to see an amazing team of folks. Our entire staff, over a hundred now, statewide, um, are are every day ensuring that people have access to food. Which um, we're sitting here today in this wonderful, you know, restaurant, and um, a lot of the folks that I see sitting around today have have a meal in front of them. Mm-hmm. This is how we celebrate and highlight events in our lives. Is yes. traditionally around food, and so uh, we don't want to see any person not be able to celebrate that moment in their life whatever it is even if it's just being with jim weller on you know fine day radio right still um, do it around food do it around food and we want yeah. everybody to have that opportunity yeah well very nice so there's always volunteer opportunities yep always. every day yep and people can make a monetary donation if they want that's anytime. right time that's right yep um as i said we're serving more people today than we were at the height of the pandemic but uh you all know the cost that you see in the grocery store right now. So we're experiencing that as well. So we're actually spending more money on food today than we ever have at any portion uh, point in our history. Donations are down. So people you thinking about bringing they want... in non-perishable food items. You got it. Can They're... they just bring them right to the food? They bank? can. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Anytime. Yep. Um, so those donations that we count on are down from pre COVID levels. <laughs> Um, okay. Food yep. product that we get from the government to help people in need is down from pandemic era highs. Okay. So we're having to purchase more food. food. So those dollars that folks are able to give allow us to purchase that food right. so that we can get it out to the community. So yes, those those financial donations are incredibly important, but that doesn't mean we don't want people to bring food as well. Right. But I would presume if somebody was going to spend $50 or $100 and then bring you food, you probably can buy more food with the 50 or $100 than I can. You're spot on, Jim. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. Yep. So. Um, our buying power and our ability to... Um, the, 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 the relationships we have with grocers, with retailers, and those folks allows us to generally, yes, um, have a, a greater buying power with those dollars. Okay. Well, the food bank. Um, in other words, so people just call you on the phone or look you up online, or what do they do? Well, they can do um, any of those things. They can give us a call um, at our new facility now right. um, and, you know, uh, catch up with any member of our team. The best thing is our website, though, um, www.fbd.org. Okay. Um, when they visit the website, um, they'll be able to see all of our programs there. They'll be able to see all the information. But I got a new one for you, Jim. They're also going to see the menu for our on-site cafe that we have in Milford as well. Really? So we have an on-site cafe where folks can come in for uh, lunch Monday there through Thursday. And eat? Yep, come on eat in. Eat in or take eat it with in. You? Eat in. Yes, at so, the food bank. At the food bank. Yes. Really? I want you to come on over one day. Are you going to start doing breakfast? Huh? Well, we do, <laughs> we do on breakfast. Saturdays? <laughs> we do breakfast on Friday mornings right now. Okay. Um, but Monday through Thursday for lunch, 11 to 2. Um, breakfast on Friday, 8.30 to 10.30. All the proceeds of the cafe go back to student scholarships for our culinary program. It's a great way to come over, a salad, a soup, lunch. Uh, we seat about 30 or 40 people. Yep. I just want you to put it in your maybe list to consider... Having us do this show there after May on Saturdays, it could be good for both of us. Well, I'll have we to. We should think about that. I'll have that. to put that up here. Okay. But you'll have to come over one day and, and try it out this. so you right. can see what you think, and then you can share it out okay. uh, here on the radio before then. So you can eat lunch there? You can eat lunch there, yep. Really? Yep. Soup, salad, sandwiches, hot special every day. So you just go in and order it and eat it right there? You do, yep. I had no idea. See, look at that. I shared a new okay. one with you today. You did. Okay, well, very good. 
All right. Well, I'm going to say thank you. Thank you, sir. And um, have a good weekend. You got anything cooking today? Well, actually, uh, I'm going down. Uh, we are getting together with some people. And, you know, the big polar bear plunge is tomorrow. Yes, I know it. In, uh, are Rehoboth. you in it? Uh, well, we've raised a lot of money, but our group does it today. And so we're going to go down and um, plunge at Cape and Lopen State Park this afternoon. And You're going in. I'm going to go in. Yeah, it's going to be cold. It's yep. not that bad. It's not that bad. It has been worse right. some years before, but um, but it's still a little nippy. Well, what time is this in case people want to watch you? <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> one o'clock at Cape and Lopen State Park. There's All not right. a lot to watch. You know, okay. it's in and out quick. You know how it is. <laughs> right. I don't want your hair to get messed up. <laughs> well, I mean, there's so much to get messed up, Jim. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, That's thank- today. Well, very good. Yep. I That's appreciate all you do. It seems like everywhere I turn, you're doing something. So. Well, I, I try to be Jim Weller, you know, okay, I mean, well, just everywhere. But now I do want to tell you, I'm in nomination for best of Delaware talk show host. Get out. I, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> like who nominated me for this? So if you would get, was get it a Colin, chance, you think? That he I don't it? know. I think it was Dan Gaffney donated, oh. not, donated me. Well, donate, well, donated. Maybe that is kind of like being donated. <laughs> right. I mean, so. I, I voted for him. He's going to vote for me, he said. Okay, so. well, that's good. But anyway, uh, it's an honor. It's just an honor to even be on the list. So. so I should look at the camera now and say, everybody should vote for Jim Weller Absolutely. for Best of Delaware Talk Show host, right? Absolutely. Hey, yeah, yeah, come on, come there on. There we yeah. go. There's people yeah. in the house. There you go, see? All right. See, that was well, a good thanks. plug, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> You're getting it. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you, okay? All right, thank thanks you, Jim. a lot. A this one. was great. Good to see you. All right, see. I'll get over there. All right. All right, take care. All right, everybody. Food Bank of Delaware. Could use your support. What a great organization. What a great organization, okay? Um, so anyway, I just want to also say that l Insurance Agency is my insurance agent. And people know that I like Bill Strickland and l There's no question. But it's more than just a friendship. It's the fact that they do a great job. They look out for us. In other words, they make sure I'm adequately insured. They make sure when I have a problem, it's not a problem. It's not my problem. In other words, and they make they make life simple. So if you need a good insurance agency, whether it's for your personal insurance, health insurance, life insurance, liability insurance for your business, whatever, give L and W a call. They got three offices now, one down in Ocean View, one in Dover, and one in Greenville. So if you have any questions, they've been serving our community over ninety years. Phone number three oh two eight five six seven eight two eight. That's three oh two eight five six seventy eight. 28 lwinsurance.com on the web okay now i feel like this might be my last opportunity at this group of kids so kim kim i want to know if any of the kids would like to join me this is our last saturday here this is no okay all right i just wanted to make sure it's our last saturday here all right, Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling is my next sponsor segment, okay? So I just wanted to say we appreciate the Fitzgerald family and all they do for our community. Think about a business that's been around a long time, over 80 years they've been serving the community, and uh, they buy scrap metal. So they're all about recycling, in other words, in other words, and making the environment a better place. So if you have any scrap metal, like you look out your kitchen window and you say, uh, Jim, when are you going to get that bus out of the woods? Okay. So anyway, that's just a small example. But anyway, uh, scrap metal. So I just want to say scrap metal. They buy scrap metal. They'll just take it off your hands. All right. So you take it to Fitzgerald's in Lincoln, and they will do that. Also, they sell used auto parts because they buy scrap cars. So, hi. So if you need any used auto parts like a motor or a transmission or any kind of a part for a car or something like that, Fitzgerald's Salvage and Recycling can sell you a part, okay? So they buy scrap metal, they uh, sell parts, they sell crushed concrete, and they're just a great family-oriented owned and operated business in Lincoln. So Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling, 302-422-7584, 302-422-7584, on the web and on the Facebook, it's Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling. So this is our final show at the Milford Diner. It's a very sad day. Um, in other words, we move around every so often, so we're moving around. We usually stay somewhere six months. We've been here longer than that. So um, we're moving around. So we are going to Dewey Beach 
to the Sunrise Restaurant. Our friend Robbie owns and operates it, and we want to invite you next Saturday to help us pack the place. In other words, um, so we're going to be there from 7 to 9, um, and we are going to be at the Sunrise Restaurant in Dewey Beach, Delaware, next Saturday, and from then until May. May. All right, Vanderwind's Farm Creamery. Now we're talking. We're talking ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, chocolate, vanilla, chocolate chip, mint chocolate chip, whatever you may want, banana splits, uh, sundaes, and uh, milkshakes. So if you want some ice cream, Vanderwind's is the place. Got a few locations. Check them out on the web or on the Facebook outside of uh, Greenwood on 404. They're open year-round there. The other ones are seasonal. So if you have any... uh, Need for ice cream, whether you want a cone, a cup, a quart, a pint, you want to hire their truck to come to an event, you're having an open house or uh, you're having a birthday party and you want a truck where the kids just walk up to the truck and say, I want some ice cream, Vanderwinds has it going on. Thank you to the Vanderwind family for supporting the show. And uh, next week, we're going to have a lot of giveaways and some of the giveaways are going to be Vanderwinds gift cards. All right. Now. We're going to open up the phone line, and we're going to give away some Vanderwinds gift cards in just a couple minutes, okay? I've told you about the new location. It's going to be down there at Sunrise Restaurant in Dewey Beach, Delaware. And uh, I want to remind you that Wilson's Auction, man, I was looking at Wilson's Auction's website yesterday. So Wilson's Auction, this is a sponsor segment. Dave Wilson and his team do a great job right there on Route 113 in Lincoln City, Delaware, every Saturday morning. And today... The place is packed. So go to wilsonsauctions.com, wilsonsauction.com, and look at the pictures. My gosh, there's lots of, I saw, I thought I saw boxes with swimming pools in them. I can't remember though. Yes, I saw lots and lots and lots of stuff. Tools, glassware, antiques, jewelry, coins, furniture, appliances, all kinds of stuff going to be sold today to the highest bidder. So grab your cash and make a dash and go to Wilson's Auction. They start at 10 o'clock this morning. It will go all day and into the evening. And then, of course, if you ever want to sell something, property or things, you could take things to Wilson's Auction from Wednesday to Friday afternoon and drop it off. And you can go back Monday and pick up your money in cash, okay? So lots of things are being sold at Wilson's. Then Tuesday night is the auto auction. Every Tuesday night at 6 o'clock is an auto auction. Any questions? Call them at 302-422-3454, 302-422-3454, wilsonsauction.com, okay? All right, they're on Facebook, too. They are on Facebook, really, 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 really. All right, you think we should take some phone calls for some Vanderwins gift cards? We're going to give you four gift cards to Vanderwins, okay? Is that all right, Denise? I have to approve that with Denise. Four Vanderwins gift cards. To anybody that would like to give me a call, I'll put your name on the list, and you pick them up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week, next week, Tuesday through Saturday, okay? I have not gave out the phone number yet, and the phone is ringing, okay? Caller, are you there? Yes, Jim. How you doing? This is Terry from Seaford. What's your name again? It's Terry. Terry? T-E-R-R-Y-D-O-W-N-A-G. Is it Harry or Terry? It's Terry. (laughs) Has Terry got a lot of hair on his head? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Terry, how you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm doing good. Doing good. What are you going to do with these gift cards? Uh, I'm going to take and buy some ice cream. All right. Do you like ice cream? Oh, yes, I like vanilla. Vanilla. Okay. Yeah. Do you get any sprinkles on it or anything? Uh, yeah, I did, I did uh, like a Sunday. Okay, okay. So you're going to pick these up next week, right? Yeah, I'll be by your way next week, and plus I might come over to your new location where you're at. Now, it's down in Dewey Beach. All right. Okay, bring I'm your... Gonna call, I'm going to call you and, see, and get the address so I can get there. All right. Um, and bring your surfboard when you come. Uh, surfboard? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see you, Terry. Bye. All right, you take care. Have a good weekend. All right, bye. Bye. I'm bye. Bye. So that's how you get four gift cards to Vander. When you call up, just like Terry did... Uh, let us give the phone number, 302-422-7336. All right, let's do a commercial segment. This is a sponsor segment for Jerry Santoro 
Jerry's lawn care. You say, well, what in the world can you say about Jerry Santoro? Well, first of all, he's honest. He's fair. He's a hard worker. He's got the equipment. He's got the manpower to do what you need done. So if you need a lot cleared, he's got the equipment. If you need your irrigation system installed for your yard, he can do that. He does pavers. He sells firewood. He does all kinds of things. If I don't mention what he does and you got a job you want done, you give Jerry a call and he might be able to do it. He does all the uh, lawn care at Wellers in Bridgeville. So if you're planning who's going to do your lawn care, if you need some tree work done, Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care does it all. What is the phone number? It's 302 363 6025. 302 363 60 25 jlc llc.com and Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care on the Facebook. All right. Is there another phone call? Caller, are you there? Yes, I'm right here. And who am I talking to? Lou from Bridgeville. How are you? Good. Do you like ice cream too? Oh, oh yeah. We like ice cream. <laughs> okay. Well, you're going to get four gift cards to Vanderwins, okay? Okay. I thank you. Yep. Don't come till next week. I got to get them to the store, okay? Okay, I, I see Rosa, and I get it from her. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. See you, Lou. Bye. 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 That was Lou from Bridgeville. All right, now we need people to come join us next Saturday in person at the Sunrise Restaurant in Dewey Beach. It's going to be a great ride. It's going to be a good time, and we would love to have your company, all right? Uh, we want it to be standing room only by the time we fill that place. It's the 40th reopening of the sunrise restaurant okay all right well anyway what else is going on what else is going on i want to just say we're giving away gift cards to vanderwins and some people love ice cream four of them four gift cards to vanderwins free you got to call me on the phone 302-422-7336 i answer the phone i write your name down and then you pick them up at wellers in bridgeville next week tuesday through tuesday through saturday not today Tuesday through Saturday, okay? All right, so with that said, we got more guests going to be on, and um, I want to just take a moment and uh, talk about one more sponsor segment, Chick-fil-A. People love Chick-fil-A. You know, they're good if you're like uh, if you're having a little luncheon at your business and you want them to cater it, they'll bring the food. If you're in a hurry and you just want to get in and get something and get rolling, uh, they are very quick, okay? Good food, quick. Not fast food, but good food, quick. Quick. Chick-fil-A, many locations all over the place. I say thanks a lot to Chick-fil-A for all you do for Weller Does Del Marva and the community. And I just want to let you know that um, dining in, eating out, getting gift cards, whatever it may be, Chick-fil-A can take good care of you. So thank you to Chick-fil-A, a great place to eat all the time, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Last chance, last chance at four gift cards, four gift cards, to Vanderwin's ice cream, okay? Last chance, okay? Um, so I want to let you know, I want to let you know that you have to call me, 302-422-7336. Uh, and people say, you know, I, I want to say this, that we're going to miss the Milford Diner, okay? This is a sad day, okay? In other words, but we go and we move around and we are going to be moving. All right, um, is that another phone call? Are we allowed to take another one? Only if, you want to. Only if we want to. Do we want to take a phone call, Denise? All right, caller, are you there? They're not there. Yes, I'm here. All right, what's your name? Hi, I'm Fred from Ocean View. Is it Fred, F-R-E-D? Yes. All right, now, do you know where Wellers is in Bridgeville? Uh, no. Are you calling for the gift cards? Yes, I am. Well, good. Well, you're going to have to figure out where Weller's Utility Trailers is sure. in Bridgeville. Sure. It's right on the highway. And okay. I'm going to sense you've never been there. Right. Well, while you're there, you can pick up the gift cards. Uh, okay. But if you'd like to buy a trailer, you can do it that's, all in one transaction if you want. That's the place for it. Yeah. So, Fred, are you watching on TV, radio, Facebook? A uh, radio. All right, and have you ever called in before? Never did. Well, good. What inspired you? I was just driving and listening and driving. I'm in Bethany Beach driving up to Dewey, so I, I was listening in. Okay, well, well, you have you, you are eligible to pick up four gift cards to Vanderwin's Ice Cream at Weller's next week, Tuesday through Saturday, okay? 
fantastic. Thank you very much. I got one more thing, though, Fred. Yes, sir. If you would like to join us in person next week, um, okay. you can stop by the Sunrise Restaurant. That's our new location. We'll be broadcasting live from 7 to 9 Enjoy. if you want. Yeah, if you want to stop by and say hi. Um, Absolutely. But I, good. But I can't bring you the gift cards. you got to pick them up at Weller's, okay? I got you. Great. Okay. Got you. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. Okay. Right, bye. 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 All right, now we are not on Delaware 105.9. We are now on our radio station, Fine Day Radio. People say, how in the world did you end up with a radio station? Just throw a lot of cash at it. Okay, it's like uh, a boat. Break out another thousand. <laughs> B-O-A-T. Yeah. All right. Um, we, I have a great idea. Okay. We're thinking about buying a new transmitter. Okay? Is yes. that a secret? No, uh -uh, not okay. at all. And we were thinking, how many watts might it be? Six, seven thousand watts, something like uh, that. We need six thousand six hundred watts. So I 6. was thinking, 6 kW, if yes. you would like to buy one share of our transmitter, oh, okay, for ten dollars, mm -hmm. we would sell six thousand shares at ten dollars a share. Really? And then we would take a mini vacation and then go buy the transmitter. <laughs> how much is six thousand times? Ten dollars. Who knows that? That's sixty thousand dollars. Could we buy a transmitter for sixty thousand dollars? That's about what it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right in that area. Yep. Okay. Yep. So we're no longer talking so. thirty thousand. So, what? We will pay yes. dividends every time you turn the radio. And on, as that's long your as dividend. we own it, we will stay friends with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And if uh. we all get to heaven <laughs> together, we'll know you there. In other words, so I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, you could buy one. We ought to do that. Remember when you could buy one square inch of Richard Petty's yard for something? I don't remember Do that. Remember I remember that? you telling me that. that yeah. All right, Snooky, don't even, he's not even looking at me when no. I brought that up. Because he, he's like, I can't he's believe like, you did he's that. He's like, I Jim. own half of Richard Petty's yard and <laughs> can't get rid of it. <laughs> I got the side with crab grass. All right, we need a transmitter. So anyway, we're, we're, we're not in a hurry. We're going to do it sometime before we don't do it. Yeah. How's I mean, that? We're, we're thinking this year. Um, it doesn't have to be this year, but, you know. Right. This year, oh, well, as of right now, it doesn't have to be this year. <laughs> it depends. Well, we got two spares we can deal with. We do. If we yeah. have to. Yeah, maybe. All right. And if you happen to have any old transmitters you don't want, right. let us know. <laughs> right. 6.6 6 kW transmitter laying around. Right, laying around. Yeah. We're having a good time. We bought a radio station. We want to sell some advertising is what we want to do. Yeah. We don't want to be, um, we don't want to sound like it's all about money, but guess what once a month is? All about money. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, uh, if you would like to buy some advertising and help us out, yeah. we'd appreciate it. We want to say thank you. We had way more people sign up for advertising than we even dreamed would. Oh, we, so, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And we say thank you to everybody that did that. You know, but I was, I was talking to somebody this past week from another radio station you know, okay. that does that. And, uh, you know, we were talking about other things. And, you know, I said something about, you know, we've got... Quite a few advertisers, and and this person said, "You have got the advertisers, that's for sure." <laughs> and I said, "Wow, we do. <clears throat> it's terrible. If there's one thing I can do is help people promote things. Yeah, and 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 I really would almost wish I could do a course on how to advertise and how to promote because so many people think I'm going to buy advertising and I expect something right away. Yeah, what you're really doing is you're altering the mind of somebody." You're altering their mind, it's a mind to not altering forget experience. you. That's what you're trying to do, <laughs> yeah. is alter your mind to you're not planting forget about seeds. Planting right, you're seeds planting all the time. seeds. Yeah. And sometimes those seeds grow, sometimes they don't, but you never see a farmer stop planting seeds. Well, I mean, let's take your business, for example. Okay. How many people need a trailer right now when you're talking about needing a trailer? Right. Probably not many. Right, right. But I want to, but to remember me. Exactly. So in six do. months from now, when they do, right. how many people, yep. you know, so th there's, there's many different aspects to advertising and that's just one of them. And, you know, it's just saying your name over and over again. So they don't forget you. It's like having children and you have to remind them to clean their room. Yes. Over and over and over. In other words, or maybe you own a business and you want something put back in a certain spot every time. How often do you say it? You never get away well, with saying it once. <laughs> Here's, I heard it this way one time, and this was about you know being motivated and 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 listening to motivational stuff. And it said, uh, you know, I listen to it, but it wears off. It's not permanent. Right. And the guy said, well, neither is bathing, but I try to do that every day. 
That's <laughs> true. So, you know, it wears off. Right. You know, exactly. in other words, right. But <clears throat> we talk to people about advertising, and so many people they get they get focused on what it costs, mm -hmm. and they don't look at it like it's an investment. It is an if investment it, for right. sure. And you yeah. know what you do when you have investments? You want more of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want them to pay you dividends. Yep. But if advertising worked every time you did it. <clears throat> Everybody would be buying all the advertising. I mean, in other words, because it would work every time you do it. So, but you got to make sure when the person that needs you, they when remember they wake you, up yes. and they they got a roof leak and they say, "Who was it?" That's right. Yep. You know, I was I was at Jim a restaurant. Jim Weller does roofs. Right. I was at a restaurant the other day and I was explaining to the person, "You got great food, and you do a great job." And the person down the road may not have such great food. Yeah. Yep. But they might advertise better than you. Yep. Nobody knows what you got till you tell them what you got. Well, I mean, uh, so, I mean, you can take McDonald's, for example. Right. And, you know, I feel safe. We can say them. They probably don't have the best hamburgers in everybody's business. And you know, in everybody's right. opinion. They're but, not a gourmet hamburger place. But, right. But they know how to market. They do. And they know how to put their businesses in the right spot. Yes, they do. So, and when you think of Golden Arches, you think of McDonald's. Yeah, right. Yep. You know, it's just yep. that simple. All right, so the best of Delaware. I'm yes. in the running for the best. I'm in the what's it called? The preliminary. It's called the elimination right. round. Elimination, right? So now and I'm going to be heartbroken if I lose. Well, Go ahead. I got to thinking about it. Are you getting all these people to vote for you to be eliminated? Oh, I never thought of that. But I don't think so. I think it's so. It's the limit. I think it's people with the least amount of votes get eliminated. I Wouldn't hope that be so. something if the people with the most amount of votes got, got eliminated? eliminated. <laughs> and you steered them all to it. <laughs> Vote for anybody than, but me. Yeah. No, no. I, right. I'm, I think you're doing the right thing. So. All right. All right. I'll Are see you, you later, me? Jim. All yeah. right. See ya. Okay. So that's Colin Walls, and uh, I am running for the best of Delaware, okay? Um, what else is going on? I think Terry is coming down. Terry Rosetta from the Milford Diner. Look at this. Holy mackerel. This looks like something tasty are you ready for the picture young lady i get in so much trouble when i don't pay attention to this all right terry how are you hi good morning good morning we are very sad today yes we move around every now i did not realize we've been here since may Would i thought it was just like two or three months i can't even remember when it started <laughs> and it was in may i forgot that well so. do you know that a little over a year ago Oh, okay. Turn it sideways. The lights. <laughs> well, you probably still can't see it. All right. So anyway. A little over a year ago, we became friends. Sitting right out there talking. That was we the first time I met you. We became friends a little over a year ago. So today I want to celebrate you, Jim. Okay. Well, thank you. We well, want to celebrate our friendship with you. Well, I appreciate that. I would so, take the lid off. Yeah. Oh, I got a little cake for you. No, kid, this is so nice. <laughs> I know you don't usually eat cake at breakfast, but, you know, right. they say you I may eat do dessert it first. We'll get it later, Denise. <laughs> All right. But it anyway, is hard to um, get off. it is hard to get off. So thank you for the cake. Yeah. Thank you for that. And um, we're going to miss you guys. We're going to miss you. We, we really appreciate everything that you have done for us. Well, and, um, uh, and we, we, we've had such a good time doing it. We have. We had a hundred and some people here one day. I know, it was I wonderful. Was like, it was unbelievable. <laughs> I had them little gift bags, and I think I made 120 of them, and we ran out of them. And I'm like, wait a minute, did anybody get two? <laughs> Where's how'd that happen? <laughs> how'd that we've, happen? We've had a real good time together. I want to make it clear the Milford Diner is not closing. I don't want anybody right. to think there is nothing wrong. I move this show every so often, and I'm moving the show. In other words, right. you know, and actually I was supposed to be going last Saturday, and you were kind enough to let me do it again this Saturday. But um, we're going all the way from here to Dewey Beach. Well, you never know. Words, you might just come like, right back to I, Milford. Well, that's I, how it started. You don't know. Right. That's how it started. We may be back here uh, on May 25th or whatever that We might is. be talking about this a so, year from now, right. and you never know. I agree. You never so, know. It's been one of the absolute best locations. I want to say this. We have always had people say the service was great. Wonderful. The food was great. Wonderful. They've met new people here, and the restaurant has a history of people meeting people here. Yes. You know, And um, so it continues. So um, at the moment, this will be our last show for here, and we just want to say thank you. Even if you're not with the show, uh, or if you are with the show, come back and see us. Yes, we hope we get to see you again. Yeah, let's keep it moving. We love to see keep all the faces. Them. Right. 
So anyway, I thank you for the cake. Uh, yeah. So we can we share it with everybody? Is yes, that okay? Yes, yes. I right. have to get you some more forks, but okay. yes, we can right. share. We can have right. breakfast, you know. And, and cake. Cake. Okay. Breakfast cake and cake. Cake-wise. All right. <laughs> Anything else I need to know or we want to share this last time here? Nothing that I can think of. I mean, okay. we're still we're still struggling with one cook. Okay. So um, if you know anybody that's interested in, in cooking breakfast and knows what can they're doing. You can hit the doing, ground running, though. You really you need to hit the ground, ground running. running. That's right. You know right. what I mean? I talked to somebody the other day who has a restaurant, and they said, you know, I don't even feel like interviewing people. I'm going to let them work an hour or two, and I'll know in the first two hours that's, that's, whether we're a fit or whether we're not. I don't need where to, we're at. I don't need to spend 40 minutes talking to them. <laughs> You know, and I was like, really? And he said, oh, yeah, I just let them work a couple hours, and I know right then and there, you know, and it's just. But then the other thing is you don't know if they're going to show up the next day. That, or come back after lunch. Or, so, yeah. <laughs> my so. son-in-law works at a place that every day when the, people go to lunch, they're like, who's going to come back? Who's? It's just an everyday thing everywhere. And we just, I don't know that we can get used to it. We just got to learn how to navigate through the mud. All right. We're going to pull out of it. No so. doubt. No doubt. Well, you thank, guys, thank you again, Jim. Thank you. Thank you for your, great. your crew has been great. We really Good. have enjoyed it. Well, so thank you. Thank you for your friendship. All right. And you too. Thank yes, you. All right. You. I'll see you. All right. All right. Bye bye. Yay, Terry. Yay, Terry. We never did get Brian on here, no. but there's a Brian back there just uh, getting it done. All right. Now we're going to talk to Jenny Addicts. I got a text message. Somebody said this about Jenny Addicts. Come on down. I don't even know who Jenny Addicts is. I saw Jenny Addicts was going to be on your show. I buy food from her every week <laughs> since she started. She's great, wonderful concept, and yummy food. How do you like that? Uh, that's very kind. Thank you. And that's somebody related to me said that. Okay. All right. Nice. Now we're going to take a picture. You ready for the picture? Yes, sir. Let me take my glasses off so there's no <laughs> glare. Hold my hand on my head. <laughs> All right. Thank now, you. so with that said, turn your mic like that. Okay. And you're from the Milford area. Yes, sir. Jenny Addicts, mm -hmm. okay? And so you live on Calhoun mm -hmm. Road? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're connected to the Calhoun family? I am Calhoun. Okay. Yep. And um, so uh, that's your mom and dad. Yep. And and you went uh, to school with my mom, Irene. I did, yes. Yep. yep. You just want me to tell couple, you? Just a couple years ago. Yeah, just a couple <laughs> years ago, right. And I bet she was a much better student than I was. <laughs> so I can almost guarantee that. So anyway, so you started a business. I forgot mm -hmm. the name of it. It's called it. the so Kitchen Coop. Kitchen Coop. Mm -hmm. What a cool name. Thank How'd you. How'd the name come about? Well, my dad, Donnie, and my sister, Amy, and I, we were in her kitchen one day, and she was cooking, and we were getting this business, uh, the thoughts for it started, and um, she's actually up there stirring some icing, and we had um, our kiddos come in, and we said, hey, kids, we need a name for the, for the new business, the new meal prep takeout business, and they came up with some crazy stuff and whatever, and so she, Amy's standing there stirring the icing, and she goes, how about the kitchen coop? And my dad and I, we looked at each other and looked at her, and we were like, yeah, we like that That's name a, a lot. One. So, and I have wow. a chicken coop at home too. So oh, really? that was kind of fitting. I live on a farm. Yeah. You grow your own eggs? <laughs> yeah. Or the chickens well, grow. Well, the chickens do. <laughs> right. You feed the <laughs> chickens. Me. You yes. feed the chickens, uh, and the eggs come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what is the kitchen coop? The kitchen coop is a meal prep takeout business. Okay. Um, so basically, we post a menu Monday nights at 8 p.m. Okay. on Facebook. Okay. Um, there'll be a certain number of sign up slots, and people will sign up for what they want to order. And they come pick up the following Monday between 3.15 really? and 6 p.m. at my house. Yep. Really? Everything is, we uh, built a commercial kitchen in my garage. Okay. So yep. this is all well-prepared, good quality ingredients. Yes, sir. Made with care. Yes. Made with care. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is what you're doing for a living, in yep. other words. And so they go to your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, and then so each week it's some different foods. Yes. So tell me, like, what are some foods? So um, this week we just closed the menu up last night. So um, Monday we're serving um, meatloaf and meatloaf. mac and cheese and green beans. Um, we're also doing a chicken fajita bowl with Ooh, rice and beans. Okay. Um, one of our best sellers so far, your relative can attest to this, is um, our chicken Caesar salad. Really? <laughs> and we make our dressing from scratch. Everything's made from scratch. And then also um, we've had a really cool... Um, little treat called an energy ball okay and um so once we post those we usually sell out of those in like 10 minutes because it's limited it's it's <laughs> yes so uh -huh. so start with the first one what was the first thing you said the meatloaf yeah so uh -huh. how much is that 
Okay, so an individual meal is fifteen dollars. Okay. And like I said, everything's made from scratch. And then they they pick it up at your house. Yes, sir. And um, it's ready to be reheated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So they can so, put it in the microwave or bake it in the oven. Um, there'll be different types of meals. So depending on what it is, we'll um, tell you if it needs to be in the microwave or the oven or on okay. the stove if it's some soup or. Okay. Do whatever. you bring? You furnish the container yes, it goes sir. in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So people. People go online and they order it. And I presume they give their credit card and pay for it then. Is that right? Um, we do. Right now we do um, check cash or Venmo. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So they order it. Then then you do they you assign, they pick a time to pick it up or is there a big window of time? Well, um, the pickup is Mondays from 3.15 to 6 p.m. Okay. So they can come up at any time. Is we Monday have, the only day you pick up? As of right now, yes. Because okay. it's just me by myself. My okay. sister-in-law, Amy's helping me with all the social media and okay. like the organization of that um okay so um she's but, doing a good job yes yeah, she's doing a very very good job she's okay. my sidekick <laughs> all right so they can order the food when is the menu posted menu is posted monday nights at 8 p.m so monday night at 8 p.m mm -hmm. it's posted for the following monday for the following monday yes sir. okay mm -hmm. and there's a limited number of slots yes so this is like you snooze, you lose. Well, I'm um, one person. I can only produce so much food by right. myself in one but week. But does it fill up normally? <laughs> yeah, it has been. Okay, yes, so sir. we, mm -hmm. so you know, you want to set a reminder in your yes. phone to to check it mm -hmm. Monday nights. Yes. Okay, so you go there to the chicken coop. The, the kitchen coop. The kitchen coop. Mm -hmm. Golly, dad. Mm -hmm. I have the it on kitchen. the back. I have a had a my sister in law okay. Kim had a sweatshirt. So I won't made. forget. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen coop. So you go to the kitchen coop on Facebook. Yes, sir. Like the page. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then on Monday evenings, mm -hmm. you go there and say, "Oh, I like this. I like this. I like this." Mm -hmm. You go ahead and order it. Mm -hmm. You sign up, and you can put your um, your name in. You can put your phone number if you want, and um, definitely an email address so that okay. you get a reminder on Saturdays Ooh. as to the pickup is on Mondays. Right. And it'll kind of remind you of like what you ordered and things like that. Okay, so if somebody's watching or listening, um, they 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 got some choices. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, it's made from scratch, good quality food. Mm -hmm. This isn't a bunch of stuff just stuck no. in a microwave. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amy and I decided when we started this business that if we couldn't cook for you guys, like we cook for our family, we'd rather not do it. Right. Um, I've always right. been very picky about ingredients for my family and things like that, and um, okay. yeah, so we're trying to source, you know, the best good, ingredients good that we can. And right. Yes. All right, and so um, good food made from scratch. You got a fully certified commercial kitchen. Yes, sir. Um, and uh, right there on Calhoun Road mm -hmm. in Milford. So for a lot of people who don't know where that is, uh, it's on Route 36. Uh -huh. Off of 36, yep. And you can also mm -hmm. get it off of Fitzgerald Road. Off of Road. Fitzgerald's, yes, sir. Right, mm -hmm. yep. and so it's not far, just... You know, uh, just right down the road from Rural Farms. And yep. So behind Redner's down that road. So mm -hmm. anyway, so you get the food, you take it home, you heat it from there. Mm -hmm. um, it's, if it's a salad, they don't heat it up. They don't heat no. the salad because <laughs> that creates a whole new menu. Absolutely. Wilted lettuce. Absolutely. Not a good okay. menu. Uh -huh. All right. And um, our... Um, our um, coop, the kitchen is in my garage. We, okay. we refurnish the garage. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is a very interesting concept. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, you have a daughter? I do. Is she involved in this? Yes, she is. Okay. She was actually helping me make some energy balls last night. Really? Yep. So how has it been so far? It's been uh, very busy. Very, very busy. busy. Yeah. Okay. And I'm trying right. to kind of get my footing and and figure out, you know, just there's balance. just a lot of stuff to figure out. There's a know? lot and of stuff to figure. Pace yourself. Yes. Would be my advice. Mm -hmm. Pace yourself. In yeah. other words, pick pick mm -hmm. something you can live with. Right. And then grow it incrementally. Right. Right. And then I'm always looking at, you know, trying new recipes. My family can attest to before we started, um, I would be like, okay, I'd make dinner and, okay, we're having something new tonight. You know, we're doing this or whatever because I want you guys to try it and let me know your thoughts or whatever. So that's always fun, too, because, you know, as a – I don't consider myself a chef, but as doing this business, it's fun to experiment with new recipes and, and different things like that and see what your family likes because hopefully if they like it, the public will, too. Right. So. Right. And um, have you always been passionate about cooking or is this something I have you been, just, okay. yeah. I okay. was a massage therapist for 18 years. Oh, And wow. um, my husband passed away a couple of years ago. Okay. And um, I needed to take a new Approach. course. Right. So um, I've always been, loved food and loved cooking for family and friends. And when he was here, he would, we would cook together. So really? this is wow. kind of a way to kind of continue that. Right. In memory of him. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Well, that's good. So I want people to reach out. So we're mainly pushing the Facebook page. Yes, we don't have a website because 
honestly, we don't really need it. Right. And um, it's harder to keep up with. Yes, sir. Facebook and so right so... now, it's just everybody's on Facebook. I think we've got over 850 members in our group, which is a blessing. Oh, wow. Um, and so, you know, so it really is, like you said, first come, first served. Yeah, because so. of all 850, mm -hmm. wanted something. Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm in the kitchen prepping, like, like for instance, this week, we have a few extra meatloaf meals. Okay. Um, because the meatloaf ended up being bigger <laughs> oh, really? than I thought it would okay. be. Right. Okay. So um, we do have a few new menu items. Uh, I'm sorry, new meatless meals posted, okay. meaning extras. And then also we have a Super Bowl menu posted as well. Oh, really? For pickup next Saturday. We don't okay. usually pick up on Saturdays, but we wanted to do something special for Super Bowl just to see how it would work out. Okay. Um, so you can let us do the cooking for your Super Bowl party right. or whatever. Yeah, well, good. Yeah. And um, so this is interesting. This is very interesting. You're connected to the Milford Church of God? Yes, sir. Yeah. Have you been going there all your life? All my whole life, yeah. Do you sing? Yes, I do. The Calhoun family's kind of known for yep. being instrumental in the singing mm -hmm. and uh, things like yes. that. So, um, all right, well, this is really nice. So, did you have anything else you wanted to make sure you got out there? or? Um, just visit us on Facebook and, um, you know, hopefully very soon I'm going to be hiring some people oh, okay. um, because, you know, we are growing pretty fast and I'm very thankful for that. Right. Um, so, you know, obviously the more people that we have um, employed, the more food we can push out. Right. Which Everybody is wins. Yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. wins. Well, this is nice for the busy mom or the busy dad or mm -hmm. the busy grandparents. Yeah. You know, this is a way to have good quality food. Mm -hmm. We're not talking fast food. No. You know, mm -hmm. this is, you kind of can see the person that's making it, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you know who you're dealing with. You don't know who in the world's touching your food, you know. Right. Well, and, and also uh, we have pickup on Mondays because if people like want to take some of our food to work or have it for dinner, oh, you know, okay. a couple nights during the week, I think it's convenient. You know, one of the things we want to do is kind of return some time to the family because yes. everybody's so busy, right. you know, and you know, things are expensive now and it's like if people want to have nice things you know both spouses or partners have to work right so this is a way to kind of make it so that they don't have to go to the grocery store they just come see us pick up their food and take it home they can eat it that night or they can you know eat right. it throughout the week whatever they choose so wonderful um yeah. what are, i mean what made you think of this um we have a friend uh at a state that um does this in another state and she's really? our mentor mm -hmm. okay and um so we just thought that af again after my husband passed my sister-in-law and i were talking and i said sis i think this is what i want to do you know because okay. i knew i was going to retire from massage because it's it takes right. a toll after a while and um yeah so wow. we just kind of brought that concept here so wow. what yep. a great idea yeah you thank know, you it's kind of amazing well, I'm glad to have you on, and uh, every meal's a different price, in other words, you know, in other words. I mean, pretty much. Right now, we're trying to keep things consistent um, so that people know. Okay. Um, you know, like an individual meal, depending on mostly what it is, will be an average of $15 for okay. an individual. Um, a family size meal, which should feed, you know, well, people say my portions are big. Okay. So, I mean, at least four people. Okay. Um, and they're usually around $45. Oh, okay. Um, and then we sell quarts of soup or chili for, oh. I think we're doing 15 right now. Salads okay. are 15. Again, we're just trying to keep things consistent. And affordable. Um, the only reason the price would probably go up is if we cooked like brisket, which that'll be on the menu soon. You know, oh, a little bit more pricey okay. cut of meat. Right. Um, which I'm sure everybody can appreciate. Right. And, yeah. and if they buy brisket anywhere, they know that. 100%. You know, so. Yeah. Well, good. Mm -hmm. Well, how's this been? Good. good, good. I was nervous at first because really? I've never done a radio show before, okay. but <laughs> All right. but you make it very easy. So thank Do you. Do I really? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Well, I try to keep it light. Yes. And I want everybody to win. So I want people to look up the kitchen, the kitchen coop. coop. Yep. The I do kitchen have a, coop. I have a, I have a, oh, there we go. The kitchen coop. That's what the All Facebook right. page looks like. All right, just like that. It's got a window yep. and the side of a barn or something like that. <laughs> All right, yep. the kitchen coop. Like yep. her mm -hmm. Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Comment. Ask her questions, whatever you, mm -hmm. whatever you want to know. And yep. um, I think we're going to have you on again sometime. So, um, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Take care. Have a blessed All day. right. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you all. All right, everybody. The Kitchen Coop. Check it out. What a great concept. All right. So I really do not have time to get everybody on, but I want to just look around and just say thanks a lot to all the people that have come here today. Is that Ken and Dale over there? Yes, it is. Is he sporting a new hairdo? Is he sporting a new hairdo? All right. Anyway, any hair will do. That's his hairdo. Anywhere. That's how I roll. Anyway, so um, lots of different people are here. So uh, Jim Bosco is chowing down on that cake. Look at him over there, folks. Ain't nobody going to get ahead of him. <laughs> so we have a lot of people. Thanks a lot, everybody, for coming. I see Denny. I see Donna. I see uh, Danita. Oscar Oliver. 
I had it. I'm getting there. All right, we're Facebook friends. So anyway, all right. So anyway, I just want to say that we have a good time here at the Milford Diner. It is our last week here. Hunter's here and Colin's here and uh, everybody. I see a lot of different people. So I uh, just say thank you to everybody. And um, if you would join us next Saturday, we are going to be at the Sunrise Restaurant where you can have a cheesesteak for breakfast if you want. So anyway, good food, good lunch, downtown Dewey. It's on the, what end did you call that? South end, north end. It's on the north end of Dewey, okay? As you're coming into town, it'll be right on the left. And it'll be packed. So we want you to come and uh, hang out with us next Saturday and every Saturday between now and May 18th. Mark your calendar. If you want to be on the show, if you own a business, I'm looking for some more people to help promote. So if you own a business and you would like to be on my show for a five-minute or a 10-minute segment, I would love to talk to you about the details, okay? Call me on my cell phone. It's 302-542-9157. That's 302-542-9157, okay? All right. Um, I did want to ask, did you want to talk about Just Soup about anything? Did you feel like coming over for a minute or two, either one of you? I'll just throw that out there just in case, okay? All right, we've got a couple minutes left in the show. This is our last show at the Milford Diner, and we're going to talk just a little bit about the Just Suit ministry. Uh, I've always been impressed and amazed at what she does and how she, you know, just gets up early and cooks for people and just wants to bless her community. So um, uh, we're going to take a good morning. We're going to take a picture right here. All right, it's Dale Dunning, is that correct? Yes. Pastor Dale Dunning? or yes. just okay. I am ordained. Okay, and so you have Just Soup Ministries. Yes. And you've been doing this a long time. September of this year would be 25 years. Wow. And I've started 24 soup kitchens in the state of Delaware, from Bethany to Newport. Helped other people figure out how to do it and get it going. And I stayed there maybe about, like you, about six months. Wow. And then I moved on to start another one. Oh, okay. So you've actually been at all these locations. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. And, and, and the ones that I started in Newport, the mayor came to me and asked me if I would start them. Really? And I started one at Pinal United Methodist and St. James Episcopal. Really? They were there and I stayed there so long and then I moved on. Okay. And um, I also was at the home of the brave for 19 years. Really, I served there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so I've started different soup kitchens in the different areas. Well, I know you. Um, I, I consider you not a lady that would like to brag, but I want to just brag on you. In other words, I've watched you. I've listened to your story. I've. I remember you told me how you got up like at three o'clock in the morning and you're and you're cooking soup and and you're giving it to people. This is not a money-making thing. This is a just a giving, a ministry. I just want to give. And, uh, it's, you know, you're feeding them. You're, you're warming their body. And, and a lot of them could be homeless, in other words. And they just they need, they need food. And it's a good and, way to start. And, you know, you were saying I start at 3. I start at 10 Wednesday night in there and go all day long. Oh, home. my gosh. So, wow. And, you know, there's a GED class there that's going, that's going oh, very really? well. That's and we nice. have a sewing class, two sewing classes there on Wednesday from 9 to 12 and from 1 to 4. And I have more people than I have space. Wow. Have and no what's idea. that road called? What road is cool that on? Cool Spring Road. Cool Spring Road, right. Yes, okay. Sir. All right. This is a nice facility. Um, oh, wonderful. It is, yeah. So people can stop by. Yes. People yes. can donate. People can bring, yes. can people bring of, food. or a lot of people to donate clothing. Uh, oh, one of the things the thing. they asked yeah. of me, um, I guess, before Christmas, was what they could donate. I needed a lot of sweatshirts, hooded sweatshirts, sweaters, gloves. jackets, hats, gloves. Yes, yeah. yes. Never and, thought I mean, of that. people just really outpoured. It was just wonderful. Wow. Well, you've done a good job. You've got well, a good you. name. You've made a difference. In other words, you're trustworthy. People know that your, your heart's in it. You and know? I have a wonderful husband. No doubt. <laughs> And he's a card. Where's his cards? <laughs> he's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun. And I have great volunteers. They're just yes, absolutely you do. wonderful. Oh. And when I started the sewing classes, you know, I was um, told them if they stayed in the class for eight weeks, the sewing machines that I purchased, if they were faithful to come, I'd give them the sewing machines. 
How nice. It was How wonderful. Nice. Wow. And you know, then people started helping. They started donating money so that I could go and buy more brand new sewing machines. Right. So it's going really well. We have a beautiful time of prayer and it's ministry plus people learning to sew. And yeah. these ladies want to sew so they can sew um, clothing and right. different things for their families. But also, if someone needs alterations, they can make a little money. Yes, that's a great idea. Instead of just giving them fish, you're teaching them to fish. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. That's about all I got. Yes. But I say thank you for coming, okay? Yes, and sir. Uh, we always are, we enjoy it when you guys are in the house, okay? Thank, thank you. you very much. All right, Just Suit Ministries, if you have never learned about them or whatever, look them up. Learn about them. In other words, uh, it's a good thing. She does a good job and she's very dedicated. So, folks, I want to say thanks a lot to everybody for coming here today. I hope you all had a good time. And um, the uh, diner has done a great job. Did you want to say something, young lady, before you leave? Get over here and say something. Come right on around. Either way, you got like one second left, so hurry up. This is one of the ladies that's always clearing the tables. Just tell us what your name is and say hello. Uh, hi, my name's Chanel. And take a yeah. picture here, Chanel. All right. You keep everything straight. Thank you very much, Chanel. Yeah. You're okay. welcome. All right. All Goodbye. Right. See, See ya. ya. All right. It was that quick, everybody. You didn't think I could be quick. All right, so anyway, Chanel does a good job. So there's a good group of people here. The Milford Diner is here, so check them out. They're open weekdays. They're open like six days a week. So check out the Milford Diner. We will be at the Sunrise Restaurant next Saturday morning, 7 o'clock. Come join us. Thank you. All right, so we are finishing up on Fine Day Radio, TV Del Marva. God bless you. Have a good weekend.